Sharon's coming, but let's get started because we got a lot to do. How do you know that? Because I talked to her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, Make sure the minutes reflect that. Um, and Cliff is absent tonight. Yeah. So, Peter wants to talk to us um, about a public comment. I came to you last year about this time mm -hmm. and asked you not to mow uh, Fowler Road, Old West Church Road, Bliss Pond Road, and Sadler Pool. And I did. I talked to most of the people who live there. Apparently, I didn't talk to one or two that uh, one left you a message about wanting to mow. And so I did go talk to uh, Sue afterwards after you got to on that. Mm -hmm. But I'd like to do the same thing again this year. And this is the poster that I put up at the ends of each of those three roads. Would you sell me a couple of those? I could use two. <laughs> well, I'm going to. You did last year. I did last year, and, and I, I, you know, if if it's all right with you, I'd like to put the same ones up. I uh, I met the uh, the fellow, the the subcontractor. Oh, Doug. Um, Doug, Doug Grout. No, his subcontractor. He oh, had a second yeah. mower out. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. He yeah, he got in the first uh, thirty or forty feet of uh, Bliss Pond Road. I mean last road, year. Last year, yeah. As I was just as I was going out to put out a stake and stopped him, and he was confused. He didn't know what was going on. Oh, okay. But he did turn around and go away. Um, so, the only concern I have is that last year, you hadn't had a chance to talk to all the neighbors. Yeah. And I got phone calls because mowing wasn't done, and there was some. Um, what was it? You told me about one. Yeah, sight distance, sight, sight distances with the killerins and the burdocks. So, is there a way for somebody to cut some of that stuff down? We can down? Hand that down because it's only. I, I went up and I talked to Sue and I looked at her driveway, and uh, and where that's a problem, it's easy to just hand side that because it's it's only the corner mm -hmm. of their driveway. So you're willing to do that? Yep. But I also got to organize because this is not going to be a you know five-year project or a ten-year project it's a forever project mm -hmm. um, so it's just a matter of trying to keep it at bay it's already um, John and I were talking about kudzu mm -hmm. uh, you're familiar with kudzu on uh, down south mm -hmm. it literally goes over buildings this oh. won't do that this will stop at this three or four feet high but but what, the idea was sure oh, yeah, yeah. But but uh, but it it's, it turns out I just uh, emailed you an article about Kudzu, yeah. and uh, it's on Martha's Vineyard and Cape Cod, so it's probably it may be what you're pulling out in Nantucket. But uh, at any rate, it's uh, it's easier to stop it than it is to do something about it afterwards. Yeah. You can't. There are no no herbicides that uh, get rid of it. Chervil. Chervil. Wow. Kudzu there is. Because it's much easier to yeah. deal with if well, you keep on it. But um, anyway, so I will go talk to, uh, I think I emailed you, I would yeah. go talk with all the neighbors, I'll keep a list, I'll uh, hand out uh, something, the hard part is handing out mm -hmm. something small enough. Is, uh, you know, I emailed you at five articles, which is right. 10 pages or, or more. Yeah. Um, so it's handing out, and then I think the thing to do is to uh, is to offer uh, walks to go and uh, point it out, and I, I did do that with everybody I met on the road. But there yeah, have you thought about having like a neighborhood meeting? Yep, that's it. So the neighborhood meeting on the road. Mm -hmm. Right here. Uh, hi. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so um, this is about. Yep. Do we miss again? Sorry, no. Thank you. So I'd like to uh, be able to go ahead and do that. Mm -hmm. And I need your cooperation because if you mow those roads, it won't do me any good to, to do that. Yeah, like I said, the only concern I have is I want to make sure that this year, mm -hmm. you know, everybody that's affected on that road is aware that we have a way to cut down the other brush that grows up that, you know, they were a little, they were pretty upset that their brush didn't get cut down and everybody else's did along the roadside and mm -hmm. site distances for their driveway and stuff. The only one I heard about was Sue and she wasn't upset with me. She just didn't know what was going on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, ups, ups, I guess she was, maybe upset's not the right word, but she was concerned, I guess. 
They were, I mean, they were really nice about it. Yeah. So I will give you a list, uh, hopefully, in, at your next official meeting, uh, or in the next regular meeting, okay. in two weeks, uh, of all the people I've contacted, and a uh, copy of the handout that I'll give to them. Okay. And That's good. Uh, and I what I hope to do is is go on uh, weekly walks as this it's just starting to bud now. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, so you're starting to see it. And yeah, it has. If the buds are just starting to open up. So when did you want to post the signs? Um, before you start uh, mowing. Mowing. Okay. So in the next week or so, or two. So after you when, come back to us at the next meeting with. A list of everybody you've contacted, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, yeah. and then we can vote to approve the signage. Okay, I'll leave you the sign, and if you want to change the wording, I made up the wording after you okay. Mm -hmm. Where are you getting us printed up? Okay. Down at uh, Capital Copy. Yeah. 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 They they reformatted it, and uh, and and then we try looking at it from distances. Yeah. From one end of the story. Yeah, the I've never seen them last year. So, uh, somebody did pull up. The signs at the intersection at the triangle mm. and threw them off into the woods. Mm. Um, Recently? Oh, this year? Oh, last year. Last year. Uh, a couple huh. of times. And I went out and I replaced them. I never found out who did it. it that's, well, we that's never, a funny we never, game, huh, Peter? We never find <laughs> out who steals the Lightning Ridge signs either. So. No, or who does a few other things right. in town. But would you like me to leave this with you? Um, I don't but make some copies for me if you're going to go down there. Yep, I will. <laughs> me too. I always on my own. Yeah. Well, thank my, you for doing that. Okay. Well, good. Thank you. Yep. And uh, yeah, it's uh, we have to get more than just me involved. It yeah. was easier with me doing it in a way, but it. Uh, I've been going out uh, a couple of times a week for the month. Maybe to meet with the conservation commission about getting. Well, I'd like to get the people whose property it is. Yeah. Uh, my, my incentive is, is yep. that if I can keep it at bay, it doesn't get to my place. And I went out and I bought a 17-year-old uh, Kubota uh, this winter that I put a brush hog on to, so that it doesn't come into my fields. But it is, um, if, you, if you, the worst road I've seen, and I haven't been all over Calais, is the Adamant Road section between uh, Fowler Road and up mm. to the top of the hill. And it's yep. already working its way out into the fields on both sides of there. It's on so Michaels. It's it, it, the Jim brush and hog. Gales. Brush, yeah. Michaels and Gales. And the brush hog yep. is done counterclockwise. And you can watch it go around both those fields counterclockwise. Hmm. So it's it was brought in by the state up to 14. It's brought into Calus by our cutting. Mm -hmm. And now uh, the brush cutting on the fields is taking it in. And, Filling in the fields, so hmm. that's uh, something that's only. Well, they hate Gales property, so they. Well, they haying spreading it around, I guess. They, Michael just brush hogs. He doesn't have yeah. across the way. Hmm. They hate. Um, right. But that's, you know, once it goes to seed, the brush hog just picks it up. Yep. And carries it. Which Michael are we talking about? Michael Jim. Jim. Yeah. Yeah. And I went down. I talked to Rick Barstow. And he got somewhat defensive about it. And he said, well, it's the cars that are doing it. It's not him in the brush hogging. <laughs> so I haven't gotten anywhere yet on that. Okay. But uh, we'll keep working. I've that. heard that too, Peter. <laughs> it's all the cars fault. Yeah. It's yeah. all the cars fault yeah. because, you know, it gets all caught up in the undercarriage. And yeah. And, yeah, and, then, and then we go drive around in the fields like we do. Yeah. Those, right. car, those cars are the bush hogs <laughs> attached to the back of them. Right. So... We'll, uh, we'll keep working okay, on that. Okay, thank you. And uh, hopefully that, uh, you know, it's, we get more and more people interested in it. Right. We'll, uh, see it coming towards their property and we can do something about it. Yeah, well, it's all about education. Yeah. So, thanks again. Okay. Thanks, Peter. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, so just remind me um, for the June 10th meeting. Here you go. You just won. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, okay. Sorry, I don't know your name. Are you here for public comment? Uh, no, I'm just here to listen. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is Jonathan Fitch. I think he should be appointed to something. <laughs> yeah, I think he should be. I think we should appoint him to something. Is he living in town? At the moment, yes. Okay. Well, let me see now. John, Jonathan Fitch. Oh. He's a Fitch from Canada. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? Yeah. 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 Well, we'll, 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 I'll be looking. We need young blood. Mm -hmm. 
Mine's getting old. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> okay, are there any additions or changes to the agenda? All right. The warrants are being circulated, and there's a note on one of the sets of the warrants that I didn't, and I looked at least three times for the check, and I don't see it. So I don't. I left a note so we can get Sandra to clarify where the check is. Um, all right, I don't know if anybody from the road commissioner or operations manager are coming. So I don't have any update on the broken frame. Um, last Monday, I think it was last Monday, you mentioned Worcester Road and Collar Hill Road were really badly washed out. Peak and Brook Road, they had to close Peak and Brook because it was flooded. So I don't think any of the damage was significant. That's significant, but you know they total it all up and give the amount to CVRPC, who then totals it up and gives the total amount to FEMA. Let bridges, as we know, low there. Mm -hmm. So as soon as any debris, it just always goes around the bridge. So yeah, I, I knew that was going to be a problem. Right, and then it, I mean the fields the where the Armstrong farm is. Well, that's not Armstrong mm -hmm. anymore, but I drove by there later in the day just to see if it, the road was open. It, you wouldn't even know there had been fields there. Yeah. It was unbelievable. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm assuming that they, the guys kept track of that and will report it to CVRPC. Um, we have, I don't know anything more on the one-ton truck than what we learned last meeting. Um, no, 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 no. Moscow Woods, oh here it is. You remember that um, Alfred or Toby updated us on one of the projects for this summer is the Moscow Woods grant that they apply for. Um, and it is that they want to resurface that paved area up to, you know, when you pull into Moscow Woods and at that little intersection there. Right in the village. Yeah. Yep. So it's, you know, down past the old mill, Moscow Woods Mill. Um, the grant award was $35,232, and it's a 20% in-kind match. So I just need authorization to sign this on behalf of the town. If somebody wants so any I more information. Second. Okay, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay, and I'm signing right now. Um, so do you recommend that we sign this, Denise? I'm signing it. it. I signed it because I'm assuming Sandra will Have send it. us an email with that check because it's pretty, it's it's to the school. Yeah. For yeah. like 50, what is it, 55? 51,330. Yeah. There is another check in there that's to the school for 46 something. 46, yeah. 686. So I just want her to clarify where where that check is. Um, Alfred met with the Conservation Commission about um, the roadside mowing schedule and the hydro cedar. And the Conservation Commission had some questions. Toby sent around a document that is, I think it's in the Google folder, that's the grant. Oh yeah. Oh, that's one, of, yeah. That was a good... That was actually something that Joanne Garten, yep. that from the state, put together about roadside mowing. Is that this guy? Yeah. Yep. Uh-huh. So that's from Joanne. And we only budgeted for two mowings, so we have to figure out when the best times are, and I'm waiting for the Conservation Commission to kind of make a recommendation. Well, I think we're behind on all this stuff. Well, we started it soon enough. We are, but... No, not us, but I mean the growing is behind. Well, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. We're behind, but so is the growing. Yeah, yeah thankfully, right? Right. So, um... This was a really... I read this document. This is a really... It's concise, and it's... It's real. It's It's really clear. And very specific, mm -hmm. so in that way, really helpful. So, mm -hmm. Joan Garten wrote this? 
I think, yeah, she pulled it all together somehow from um, Seems to repeat it. best management practices. And yeah. so she's saying areas infested with chervil for the plants bolt and produce flowers. So it's already, according to Peter, the flowers are already coming out. Um, other common invasives, buckthorn, the honeysuckle, in mid July. So I think we have to decide from this information and whatever the Conservation Commission has for input. They did talk about it at their last meeting, but they had, didn't come to any specific guidance on when it should be, when we should do mowing. So is it really for, I mean, I understand it's, it's that we, we can decide, but mm -hmm. I'm, I still, even with this, I feel like the best people to decide are the road crew working in partnership with the Conservation Commission. I think we did, I think we did pick a time. Did they? Can I pull that up? Yeah, I think yeah. it's in their minutes. Is it in their minutes? Oh, okay. I thought, because I... And they asked the road commissioner to communicate that with the person who's doing mowing. Oh. Oh, okay. I guess I didn't see So same. maybe we just could say it out loud and note it and be happy that they're working together. <laughs> Katie takes conservation oh, minutes too, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, that'll happen too. So let's see, conservation. I just see the. This is discussion of the hydro cedar. Right. I think they, and they asked Alfred to get some more. Information on the hydro cedar. Yeah. Um, What's a hydro cedar? It's that thing where you see on the side of the road, like if you go to Woodbury, like so they spray, spray that like green the spray. Oh, that's it's the, the seed, seed and the. I've seen that in my What does it do? Katie, you had something it's about what they did. It's a mulch, mulch mixture with seed and fertilizer oh, and all see. that. And to help yeah, there we go. Use it on the yeah. colors pit, for instance. Oh, okay. Use it on so, landfills. Okay, early June and the beginning of August. They asked the road commissioner to schedule early June. So they did that decision, and then okay. there was what they did decide, Katie, was the part about the posting signs. Yes. Oh, that they mentioned that? Yeah. At the end here. In case of not leader road signs without a visit. Oh, boy, we don't have any of those signs, do we? <coughs> the commission did not come to a consensus. They did. Uh. Well, it says did not. Mm -hmm. no. Right. Uh, on no mow signs. Right. Cut by hand. Is that some? Is that a big deal though? Well, I think it's it. Weed. I think there are it's areas that have significant not weed. Um, I mean, Doug's not going to be able. To no, they're not going to be able to jump on and off the tractor to cut stuff by hand. Right. Not, they have no way to wash the right mower in between. Cut it. Not we can cause traffic issues. And I said this last year. It's it's too bad. The, I don't know if the statute changed, but I remember talking to Bob Kinsey, farmer from Crestbury, years ago when he was a state rep, and he was telling me about why he supported the bottle bill as a Republican in '72, and it was because back then the law was you had to mow. You were responsible for your frontage on the road. You mm -hmm. mow, and if you weren't a farmer, you didn't have a tractor, and you didn't mow it in the town. Came to the motor, they send you a bill. Oh. Um, so, how did it all change then? I don't know. I don't know how or when, whether it was statutory or just no one enforces it, like the wood and stuff kind of fell off the radar for a while. Um, but in any event, uh, oh. Kinsey scored the bottle bill because he used to get holes in his big tractor tires from the bottles oh. popping into him. So, he hated picking all the bottles and cans. And, but, you know, if, if that law were in play today or where everyone is responsible for their own frontage, we wouldn't be mowing everywhere and spreading the stuff all over. The stuff would stay confined. Yeah. So can we um, say in our minutes that we support the suggestion of the Conservation Commission in the cutting of not weed, um, what are needed for road safety visibility, and that we support their so, so decision they, to cut 
So the road crew would do the cutting rather than Doug, so it wouldn't spread it around. That's what it sounds like. Okay. That's good. Idea. And then the road commissioner schedule one roadside mowing for June and the, and the beginning of August. Yeah, I mean, I agree with supporting it as far as it goes. I'm still not clear on what. On, on, I, I, if we just stop there and don't get into the whole bottom part of what where they didn't agree, that's good. Mm -hmm. So we just, we're glad to see that they reached a consensus and we support it on mm -hmm. on the mowing schedule. Yeah, is that what said? I just am working my way through. So we're not saying anything about the signs. No. Okay. Well, we could put yeah. signs in ourselves. Well, well, we don't want to go against. I think we should check and see what their thought what their was, issue was, what their yeah. issue was before we. Well, yeah. and just let, I mean, Doug knows, like anybody knows what not weed is, I'm sure he'll yeah. know not to mow it if we ask him. I know it. when I talked to him last year or the year before about not weed, he was going to try to, be, you know, be careful. Um, so. Well, it was know. news to me that I didn't know that even the stems can cause, there's a little yes. can cause it to spread. It's nasty stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, so Denise, was that a motion? You made a motion? Yes. So I second Denise's motion to applaud the Road Commission, the Conservation Commission, for agreeing on a mowing schedule. Yes, it's nice that they worked together to figure it out. Yep. Very nice. Okay. Um, Next meeting, we'll hear Could from. Oh yes, would you like to vote? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rose, 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 Rose wants to. Favor, aye. Please say aye. 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 Thank you, Rose. Um, delinquent tax collector treasurer will get a report from her next um, meeting, which is June tenth. Town clerk, nothing to report at the moment, but we have a lot of town hall stuff to talk about. So, John and Donna are here. Um, I just have to ask that who is available to come to the DRB meeting, DRB meeting with me on Thursday night? Cliff is not going to be able to is that attend. This Thursday? I can't. I'll be out of state. Oh, okay. So That's okay. I think it'll be fine. Well, there were three of you last time, right? Right. And was, it, was it helpful to show support, do you think? No. I don't really I know. That. Was I think it was helpful. We, we each had yeah. different ideas and different folks. But I think that they heard from the full board. Mm -hmm. um, I know Katie will have the minutes done by then, and I'll make sure I hand them a copy of mm -hmm. the draft minutes with what we talked about tonight. And if you know if people aren't available, they're not available. So. Would you like me? To, I mean, do you, should we be there? I don't have a meeting, good and I won't be out of state. If, one you, if you can come, that would be great. Thursday? Yeah. This week? Yeah, 7 o'clock. Where? Here. Here. I have yeah, John's out of I state. He has yeah, something planned. And Cliff is not available. Yeah. So, it'd be great. Thank you. And I don't have to do an agenda because there's only two of us. Sure. Yeah. All right. Donna and John show. Take it away. Over the budget. Yeah. You want to go over the budget? Yeah, let me set myself up here. So I think I sent you three pages. Yes, you did. <laughs> um, so looking at the income first, I want to point out that the reserve fund is the total reserve fund that I knew about when I left as town treasurer. And then added to that are the gifts that we've gotten since then. Okay, that yeah. one, yep. You know, from the, the, the gifts are, are listed here. Yep. Um, Scott and Charlotte Bassage have donated $5,000 that is not in this list. They'd like to do it over five years. Um, so that's not in here yet. Mm -hmm. um, but the reserve fund, the 58000 includes not just money that the voters voted for repair and maintenance over the past few years, but it's got the proceeds from the historic Kent's Corner hot lunches over the last few oh, years. That money was moved in there. 
um, proceeds from Our Town, the reading of Our Town. Uh, there's a concert and play. We got a little bit of money from that. So that's what's in that town hall reserve fund. And we haven't dipped into that yet, right? I don't. I don't know how it's being handled in this office. Okay. Yeah. It's not. I don't think it has. Um, let's see. So efficiency Vermont is. They're going to pay for a quarter of twenty-five percent of the. What's that stuff called, John? Air sealing. Oh, oh the air, air, air sealing that was blown, blown in. Oh, good. Yeah, and That's they'll also pay amazing. for lighting. And they asked if I wanted to check now, and I said, just wait until we have everything done. You can send us one check. Do we know how much that's going to amount to? Uh, for the air sealant, I think it's six hundred and seventy-five dollars or something like that. And then the lighting too. Yeah. The lighting is almost inconsequential. They they won't pay for the uh, the schoolhouse, which would be the most expensive lighting element. They'll pay for for what used to be fluorescence, like in the mechanical room, or instead of strip fluorescence, uh -huh. strip LEDs, so they'll contribute to that. Um, but not be any ornamental lighting. Really? Yeah. Hmm. It's me. Even but they'll pay for the bulb that goes in it? They'll pay for the bulb, but not the picture itself. Okay. <laughs> but we'll take what we get. I was going to say, we'll take what we can yeah. get. So they'll pay for some lighting, but yeah. okay. So the Friends of Town Hall is being formed, and that will be the group that would do fundraising going forward. John and I are not part of that group. We really want to focus on the building and get the building done. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and if you remember, Christine Graham was the fundraiser person that we hired with a grant that helped us present it to the town and everything. So she left us with a list of grants and foundations, and I've gone through that list, and I don't find much for municipalities. You don't find much? No. Um, okay. So I don't think we're going to be seeing any sort of fundraising money coming in anytime soon. No, because the Friends of group has to get nonprofit status. The nonprofit status, they have to have bylaws, and so it's, right. it's, it's going to be a slow process. Right. Um, okay, so that's that's the in, the income amount that that I'm working with. Then, if you go to town hall income and expenses, mm -hmm. uh, I can show you how I keep track of expenses, and, and I can always email this to anybody. Um, where is that? I keep just a straight running list, mm -hmm. and then I put it on the spreadsheet in, cate in a category. So that when we're done, we're going to know, okay, how much was did the deconstruction cost? What was um, structural engineering? What was civil engineering? How much did the porta potties cost? Uh -huh. um, That's important. <laughs> so those are the two ways that I keep track of expenses. Um, and over the past couple of months, we've been running fourteen thousand dollars of expenses over our income. It's been pretty steady. Yeah. And you'll see now it's down to 10000 but we still have a lot of unknowns. Um, yeah, we started out pretty good with things, you know, not costing as much. And we, yeah. knew, we knew it wouldn't last, but it was nice while it did. It was, it was neat while it did last. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a lot of people have really donated a uh, lot of time and dollars into this project. But then if you look at the third sheet where the unanticipated expenses, and you realize that there was $32,000 of unanticipated expenses, some of which we actually voted, made a conscious decision about, mm -hmm. like the eco-warm um, engineering, the radiant flooring, and the, the air sealing. The air sealing. So then it doesn't look so bad. You think, okay, we made a decision to, to spend this money. Um, I mean, some of it's going to pay off later in energy efficiency right. and, yeah. you know, heating costs and... Everything. And we know we did not realize when we started out how much fill we were going to need for that foundation. Well, and some of the fill that was brought in that the town hall budget paid for ended up going back to the town garage. So eventually, Alfred's going to have to. Well, I have second thoughts about that because I'm thinking we're not counting the road crew labor right in the town hall budget. Mm -hmm. So maybe we should just forget about the gravel about moving that gravel money around because 
you know, we're using the road crew. It's not coming out of the town hall budget. Right. It's in True. the town highway budget. So yeah. it's, it's, all, it's all, all taxpayer all money anyway. Right, it all comes out of your own. Yeah. So I decided not to worry about that. Yeah. yeah. Unless somebody yeah. else wants to, you know, think it needs to be moved. It's kind of inconsequential. Yeah, I don't think it would be a ton of money to no. move around, but. Yeah. Uh, Echo Warm, is that the installer? No, that's the product. That's the product, the brand, okay. Yeah. Is that the stuff you had to order from? Came from Oregon. Oregon. So, um, I feel pretty good about how things are going. We could use a little bit more money, but. Yeah, we could use some, <laughs> a nice little yeah. windfall. But you know, um, we've been so careful though. Yeah. In every um, meeting, reviewing every single item. And when, and when, when Ernie's crew started, they thought they were going to start right into construction, and they ended up having to, to do, you know, prep the foundation along with John and. Right. I think we did. Well, it's all over scope complaining about. It was just a horrible winter. Got yeah. Right. What, what, what's going on with Perry? Uh, we're, we're waiting for uh, the excavation at the front of the building, then Perry comes. He'll come twice. Once to do the footing and mm -hmm. the remaining pad in front of the entry door, and the second time to do the tall wall where the stairs come down, and that's it. And is that, in, and that's all part of his You know, it better quote? be, it better be, um, because we've, uh, We've, we've done things that were really within the scope of his work. And uh, so I think in the end, the billing's going to be what he said it was going to be. Ooh. What it was That's our expectation. He, he doesn't have. He's only got $1,500. Uh, $1, listening to him complain about yeah. anything because we stepped in and did forming and even pouring some concrete and, and placing steel. That was part of his scope. Who is, who is Perry? Perry. Jeff Perry. Uh, it's Brian a concrete. Perry and yeah. Concrete. So we did a lot of work. Got it. Yep. Because he was busy plowing. I think we're going to be okay. Yeah. I think we're gonna be and that will start when they take down the staging in the front. That yeah. staging has to come down. And while they're there, they're going to take down the sign. You know the sign that's there that has the date on it and. Mm -hmm. And oh, um, right. the historical society is going to pay to restore that. Song. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, I like that song. Yeah. When you say Donna that. Um, the 32,000 are decisions that we made. Um, I, I understand that point. I'm, I'm just not clear, clear who it we is. We the town hall renovate the renovation committee. No, the select board voted on. I think you voted on the eco warm. Yep. I think you voted on the sealant. See the first three ones that say chimney. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's something I think. Maybe the town hall committee should have pushed back on, but it's too late now. Yes, yeah, too late now. Who is how? Tim Howe's son, Brooke. Oh. This, this was sort of a... Oh, Brooke Howe. Okay. Right. That's what right. I remember. I'm not going to name names, but <laughs> um, this was an aesthetic, historic decision right. to redo the chimney over there that will never work again. It's just there being pretty. Right. And then the demo of the old one, which went all the way down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. That was which the, was not historic. Now, right, in the store, but yeah. still, there's work to demo it. Mm -hmm. Did they yeah. demo it? Did yeah. they? Oh, okay, so That's what so anyway, that had to be demoed, and yeah. you know. So, so we may very well have made those decisions. I wouldn't remember. I don't remember the specifics, but this is. I don't remember that we made a decision to spend extra money in the context of where we were running this much over budget. We've always been. We we're moving in on. You know, watching the over mm -hmm. and I, the, the cushion get eroded. So this is a different. This is a different day where now we're looking at it and right. saying, okay, it's kind of all just kind well, of this comes is, together. This, well, right. But this is not on top of this. These expenses so are included in this. So we're ten thousand dollars over. We've got ten thousand okay. dollars worth right. of expenses over our income. Yeah, not ten plus that thirty. Right, it's not forty thousand dollars. Oh, okay, so yeah, we have. So yeah. it's really about ten. Ten. We're right. over ten. Where last time we looked at it, we were, we uh, had eight hundred dollars left of cushion, as my recollection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. That, was that day. Yeah. So within <laughs> that, we, you're saying the project had, if you will, eaten thirty-two thousand worth of good decisions. 
Right, but, like it, but then the weather caught up with us, and, and now we're so now so instead so of eight hundred over, we're ten thousand in the red. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I got it. The fill was expensive, it, not just the sand inside, but the gravel. You're talking about the backfill, the drainage. Layer. Yeah. And and John still has a backache from it. No, no, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So. Um, yeah, I mean, the Town Hall Renovation Committee is meeting the second and fourth Thursdays, Thursdays yeah. um, and we go over every single detail, invoice. Donna's done a great job of keeping track of all the expenses and keeping us up to keeping date. Us up to date. Yeah. And John's, um, John's going to be making sure that Ernie's crew knows what they're up to, and yeah, we're in touch with his bookkeeper. How's that? I wonder how that's going to... Are they? I'm up in Ernie's back. I know he's not going to be putting on his tool belt. No. Be nice if in three or four weeks he was back enough to. Well, you know, from the last update, Lisa said she's going to be down there all. Some. Oh, all I, I don't think we should. Yeah. And he's he's and Ernie's going to learn to relax. Yeah. Yeah. He's you know, not we can't do though. He's not going to yeah. Yeah. We need to. Count. <laughs> you can help with that, John. <laughs> um, he's going to be itching to get busy yeah. again. He is. He is. That'll be good for him. Well, mm -hmm. well, we'll see. We'll put a comfy chair and he can sit there and direct. He, he and John are supposed to be building a, um, an addition on Dermot Harvey's house this summer. Oh. That's what we could get for him. Well, <laughs> you guys have probably had a million conversations on what to do for Ernie. Get him a director's chair. Literally. <laughs> that has his name yeah. on it. Yeah. And can we get a megaphone too? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and an electric yeah. cow yeah. prod. Yeah. Well, I was thinking about a whip. Hot, are these things are probably There's not even very expensive. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens when he gets back. Yeah. Um, and hopefully the project will keep moving forward and John's been willing yeah, to yes, do even be. more time yeah, than he already has. Thank you very much, both of you. Oh, you're welcome. So, so while Donna's here doing the budget stuff, um, we'll have to get a set amount that is available in the town hall reserve fund mm -hmm. from uh, Sandra. Mm -hmm. But we wanted to explore the idea of using some of the funds that are in there currently so that we're not in the hole. Right. So I don't know how for sure we do that. Maybe when we're... Well, I think, I think Sandra told me that she got 37000 Something like that. Cool. She's already taken money out, I think, based on an email that you sent me. She's already oh, taken the money from, from the reserve fund. Oh, and, and I had talked to Denise and um, Cliff about that. You know, yeah. the, the voters voted the reserve fund for repair and maintenance. Right. So we don't want to use it all, but I mean, I think maintenance was so neglected over there. Yeah. That, That's driven the cost. Of yeah, right. But, right. but the money that was voted at this last town meeting, I think, should be saved for, you know, future maintenance, mm -hmm. not thrown into this. 10, if that money's already moved, though, we should definitely get it on the record that we approve it. Well, I think we need to find out from Sandra how she's done it. Right. Um, she has different, um, like she's got a category where she's keeping track of um, expenses that will go toward the grant. Right. But she doesn't know what those expenses are yet. Mm -hmm. She's got the lift in there, but there's going to be many other expenses that we're going to get reimbursed for. And we won't, you know, I'll do that with the whole project's done. Okay, so I'm looking at her emails that, um, for now, the accessibility grant expenditures are 26150 That's for the lift. The Town Hall Reserve Fund has 42852 but that's not including that 10000 which we agree should just be held. But now she says, later on in the day, she said the Town Hall Fund balance as of May 28th is 27222 Not including that. Is that this one? Yes. Yeah. Right. We She and I got together one time and went through all the expenses to make sure that she coded it's everything that right. And there was at that time, time there was something in there that shouldn't have been in there. We haven't done that recently. Mm -hmm. so can you see? Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, but I think we do need to hold off on not using when we get to FY twenty money. Right. Not using that for um, the renovation. Mm -hmm. 
And we're going to find, you, we don't know or you think she has already moved so many. I don't know. I think we should maybe put that on the radar to know. I just, I'm trying not to get involved in the treasurer stuff. Right. Yeah. But I just don't want to say that she's starting out with a different number in the reserve fund than I have. Well, that's, that's, yeah, that's a different issue, though, than yeah. making sure that we right. dot our I's and cross our T's. And Nembrick does things a little differently. Yeah. So and I was, today I was looking in the town hall file. There's also some records in the, in the alphabetical town hall file about gifts. Because apparently QuickBooks crashed and they could never get it back. Right, it did. And, and I may have a backup on a thumb drive at home. Cause, oh, that would be helpful. Because I would back it up. Because I just never wanted to have to go on the cloud if anything happened. No, that would be really helpful if you no. had that. Cause because I, and I have printouts of, of what I know is in that front mm -hmm. when I left. But I know that... Um, yeah, when that whole thing crashed, it was not good. Yeah. Anyway. So, okay, so we ran 10000 over it, but we continue to accrue expenses? Um, well, see, we we're have... not done. Right. No, we're not done. So oh, we're not done. The law is still in play, is what Donna said. We have other. Yeah, see, I, well, see, I anticipated. I've been, I anticipated one hundred twenty-two thousand dollars of expenses, but but by my tally, we have one hundred eleven thousand left in expenses. In one hundred eleven thousand dollars left in income. Oh, okay. And one hundred twenty-two thousand in expenses. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But you know, some of this is like site work. We don't have a mm -hmm. number in there. Uh, we've taken out like the kitchen and bathroom flooring. Somebody's got to fundraise for that. Mm -hmm. um, we'll do the same. We don't know what the septic system really. Like. We got twenty five thousand dollar estimate, but we don't really totally know. Mm -hmm. Dan Callen, the electrician, said he might go a little budget. So, do you have in these categories that you're listing, Donna? Do you what is your placeholder zero, or is your placeholder a best guess? What do you mean? Uh, you, you well, like Ernie had gave us a quote, sure. and that is he's going to stick by that no matter what. Sure. Or Reardon gave us a quote. I mean, and that's Very that's not to exceed. Yeah, and that's the, not to exceed. The ones that you said, like I think you said, there's maybe some site work. You said we don't know. So what I'm trying to understand is yeah, it, we don't have, I don't have anything in here for site work. So so that. Delta of ten thousand dollars between your estimates of expenses and what we do believe we still have in the budget. If I'm understanding you, there's a ten thousand dollar difference, but there's some right above the ten thousand. There's things that um, well, we haven't gotten reimbursed from some of the grants yet, so that'll go back. Right, we'll get thirty thousand dollars. Yeah. From, um, Vermont, but Vermont Arts Council. Vermont Arts Council. Yeah. So that'll be back yeah. in to offset the maybe the what's left of expenses. Well, right, but the site work. Okay, so there's we'll nothing. We'll do that. We got that equipment. Okay. Yeah, and it was agreed that the town would do most of the site work. Right. Okay. Gonna have to pay gravel or something, John. Okay. That's what, what I was trying to get to. Is are there still numbers? Not a whole lot. We're waiting. We don't, have definite, we don't have definite oh, yeah. answers to some of the numbers, correct? Right. Well, not many. Well, I mean, we've taken out the flooring. We've done everything to, like, to move money, to move expenses out of here. So we even talk about, I guess we have to put down a wood flooring, right? Yeah, that's part of the historic. Well, I'm, but you know, we've talked to Randy about how to finish it cheaply. Right. Randy Fitch has been in. Involved. So, so the window restoration that was not a firm number. That's just a that was a firm number. Oh, yeah, okay. so that's a firm cool. number, okay. and he's been paid everything except what is it, two thousand or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah, two thousand six one seven. Uh, and for what it's worth, they're in, so it is a blast to go in there now and see it. Looks good. Under natural light. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's gonna set a cave for so long. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he's wow. building storms for them. This part of the quote. Really? Yeah. Yeah. From scratch, right? Yeah, he's building a wooden uh, storm. Well, yes. He's really fast. He's, he's into windows, I guess. Yeah, right. I mean, also, I mean, a lot of people have, you know, they're charging us something for the job, but they're not, they're also doing a lot no, that isn't costing yeah. anything. Yeah. Well, and above our, and beyond. Our town hall project's going to be on everybody's website, I bet. Yeah. Mm. Cool. Yeah, very cool. I'm not sure I'd ever do it this way again. <laughs> it doesn't matter, Donna. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you know, it's just a lot has fallen on John. 
Yeah. You know, and it's, yeah. I mean, um, and that's fine, but you know, this local approach is somebody has to do the work. Right. Yeah. Right. And I think it strained our marriage a little bit, don't you, John? <laughs> so now he's vacuuming? No, he, he well, argues with me at home, and he comes to meetings, and he's really sweet. <laughs> that's the way it works, though. Yeah, um, he was sweet at my house. I don't know if you want to do any other up there. Do you want anything over there? Uh, we all know where Ernie's at, and we're all praying for him. Um, but if guys are going to keep working there, uh, one of them was sick today, but should be back tomorrow. Uh, the third one will be coming back from Port Polk on the third, so it'll be He's in the guard. Out of his um, and they, they know what they're supposed to do. Okay. Um, they're experienced. When the weather's good, they yep. work on the exterior. When the weather's funky, they've got tassels inside. And, uh, well, and hasn't Jim O'Riordan gotten the... Jim O'Riordan stepped up. I'm so happy. He... Uh, he he was saying that, oh, we're hooking up the, the pressure tank and the, and, and the controllers for the well. He said, that's not my job. That's the Gull Onion River well in the spring. And then he started looking at it and realized how simple it was and just spent a couple of minutes and he hooked it all up. Oh, good. I'm not going to charge us extra for that. Good. So we're at a point now where, uh, where we don't have a septic. We'll have to run a hose out the window or something, but a little of water oh, there. Charming. <laughs> Don't be standing under that. Because you know, for mixing concrete, I have to come over here and fill a five gallon bucket yes. and drive I remember water. seeing you do that with your car. Yeah, so now at least we'll have a nice bit outside the works. Yeah. So every, yeah, it's slowly coming together. Yeah, well, the edible garden people, I think, have a work day coming up. June 2nd. Yeah. They do. yeah. yeah, they're meeting, they're doing work on June yeah. 2nd. I'll make sure that they're, they're dialed into where the disposal field's going to go mm -hmm. to because um, I don't want them to have to dig up any more plants than they might already right. have to. There might be two or three that they got to move right now. And um, now we just need a permit to use the building. Right. Well, and we found the deed to the building that goes back to 1930 and an opinion from Julian Goodrich from 1981 about the, the yeah, title and and all that. It was it was a really interesting letter to yeah. read because there's a lot of history in that letter. Where did you find that Goodrich letter? I don't know. Where did you oh, find that? The records? No, there's a there's a town out. hall file in that alphabetical the file. The oh. file yeah. Yeah. Oh. So you kind of have to know where to look. Yeah. Wow. Because unless it's recorded you, in one of the books in there, actually Judy re-recorded the deed so that it would be, you know, in Good. um. A little more accessible. Yeah, it would be in the computer system she yeah. uses. So now it's in there twice. Right, and the DRB has this D. They have the letter from Julian. Yeah. Good right. Rich, um, which I'm sure will be part of oh, man. what comes up. Change that. Got a copy of the 1887. Um, what? Quick claim deed where the town mm -hmm. bought from mm -hmm. the yeah. Vestry yeah. Association. Uh, the what? The, the town bought. $500 from the Vestry Society mm -hmm. or Vestry Association, the bottom level of that building. Oh. So we have that a copy of that, too. Copy of that <clears throat> Very interesting. So I, I think we own the building. And then Donna put together um, a document, I think, is it in the folder, Katie? Mm -hmm. To the DRB concerning some of their, addressing some of their concerns. Um, <clears throat> concerns are kind of a row of have arisen over the last three weeks. Is right. It, a, it is the. Is it this guy? No, that's notes. That's not it. This memo from Donna is dated May 28th. Yeah, there was a, a cover yeah, letter. Uh, there it oh, is. That's May, it right there, May. Oh, May 28th. Yeah, 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 that, yeah that it's that one there. Which was very well done. Thank you for doing that. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. You know, one thing that Jeremy Engpen lives across the road and he'd written a letter. Well, he came to the first meeting, so we knew he had some concerns. But you know, one thing he talked about in his letter was car door slamming from select board meetings to whoever. Well, he can hear us slamming doors? Yeah, you know, people are chit chatting, you know, and they go oh, outside shit. after a meeting. But my point in this letter is he bought that property knowing there was a municipal building across the road. Right. Right. Knowing that there would be people there having evening meetings. Mm -hmm. So, 
He's a, he's a very nice guy and generally supportive. I mean, he was he was willing to consider him a septic on his land, but so I think it's just his way to make sure that that their concerns are addressed, which is fair. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so we're gonna have the parking below the hall, in right. front of his house. So. Yep. Right. Nobody's gonna, nobody's gonna park on his lawn. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's for sure. <laughs> and there's you know there's gonna be meetings there at night just as there used to be mm -hmm. with yeah. you know whatever time you get done you get done kind of thing donna you might remember this and john this hillside here is there a legend there is there a reason why you can't dig back no there's no legend sand oh we had, for a while we were considering locating this building on the other side of the parking lot and we had to demonstrate that we wouldn't hit ledge even if we went down 10 feet and Joey dug a hole 10 feet deep, and it was just sand after sand. So well, the John property line, idea. the property line, how far back does it go on that hillside? I'm not sure. Quite how a ways, doesn't the trees. it? Yeah. So it's just funny to be in the shape. I trees. was thinking, yeah. we were discussing yeah. um, the prospect of digging back and making this parking lot larger and then using this material uh, over there, i.e. to widen yeah. the shoulder below up Kent Hill toward Kent Hill yeah, from the so we could do, um, you can park more off the road and then wherever else you might you need it. Yeah. More um, parking and we'd have here, more parking, parking here. There. Right, and more parking could, here, which is a great idea. And we're gonna have the highway guys here anyway with trucks, bring an excavator and just start moving that material if we can. I just didn't know if it was. It looks like it's a little outcrop. Uh, feet past the intersection of Kent Hill Road. Oh, really? It doesn't go forever. But, but I was wondering how far back to the Drew's land, you know? Oh, it, it's, that it's not Force that deep. But that oh, whole no. open area, like to the wood line there, can we go to that wood line there? Yeah. We could. Yeah. Is there a town forest on there? there? Yeah, is there a town forest? Oh, is the town forest right behind us? This is the town forest. We're actually on oh. technically town forest. Oh, I thought that was Drew Lambs right behind us. Okay. Yeah, it's this weird shape here. That's oh, oh, okay. So we're good there. Yeah. Well, it's something to consider for the future. Yeah. Yeah? That goes all the way to Singleton Road. Yeah, you, I, 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 that's right. I remember that's right, because Drew had to get permission to put his, his tank his, tank, his tank, right. tank there. Yeah. Okay. Cool. It's a long walk from Town Hall. You got some material. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a, it's a good idea for the future. A <laughs> little shuttle. We're on a shuttle bus. Shuttle bus. <laughs> So I just want to go back to the town hall reserve fund again. I'm sorry. Do we want to authorize the use of the money, or do we want to wait and know how much for sure is in there when Sandra comes on June 10th? I, well, I'm less concerned about knowing exactly how much is in, in there because the diff because either way, whether it's whatever you think or whatever Sandra thinks, something needs to get paid. We still have something we have to pay, and right. we agree we don't. We don't want to touch, you know, the bulk of what's in that account, regardless of what it is. But the question to me is whether Sandra has already moved something, and I'm and I trust that if she has, mm -hmm. she would have been very mindful of those issues, and then just authorizing. Wouldn't the code be on the checks? Um, Not necessarily, the code of the reserve fund. I don't know because I don't know offhand what the code is for the reserve fund. But we can find out from Sandra. If she's used the money and what it was used for. We could for. authorize like up to, if, if she hasn't already, we could authorize up to $10,000 to be attributed to the, the, current, renovation. the current project yes. and we want to hear about it if it's been more and we don't have to if, it's, if, yeah. if it hasn't been done or. Okay, so is that a motion? Yeah. I'll second that. Okay. Kind of a globally one, but. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Thank you. Up to ten thousand. Blah blah blah. And she'll report to the board if there are if it's additional demands. Up to ten thousand. If Sandra has already done that, we're endorsing it. Um, if she hasn't, she's authorized to. If if to she and if she's already moved more, then I think we should know. We about should it. know. Yeah. Right, and we'll let her know enough ahead of time so when she comes on June tenth, right. she can let us know. Okay. All right. Anything else on um, town hall? I think so. No. 
stop by and visit. You know, you guys, you guys driving by. And I know. I'm door open or something. Sometimes the crews get. We were biking eight. by yesterday. Yeah, eight, about but it. they're pretty soon they'll switch to seven or seven thirty summer hours. Hmm? We just biked by yesterday. Um, what key is being used over there? Well, it's it's the same key. If anyone ever had a key, I had a key that doesn't work. I had a key to the side door that we used to always go in. Then, yeah, so I did too, but mine doesn't work anymore over there. And I had a key to the back door, but I thought it was the same key. I, it's supposed I, it, to be. It's, one of the keys is the same one, because Scott had a key from, well, I don't know, 100 years ago, and it's working for him. <laughs> the, key. the master key still works, but not yeah. the one you have. But I guess. Okay, anything else for Donna and John that you want to know about the town hall that I don't know the answers to? Good. Thank you guys. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks so Thanks. much. Thank you so much for all you're doing. Thank you, Jonathan. Are you here for the? They'll sit on the ice. You're yeah. just yeah. gonna hang. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Are you? Do you? Are you, are you a carpenter? We've got. We've got enough. So other ideas there already. <laughs> Questions? Yes. But the whiskey. Did you want to ask us something now? Um. Uh, yeah. What time do you guys talk about like uh, the future vision for this town? Which what meeting does that happen? The future vision? I think it's an ongoing mm -hmm. discussion. The planning. So commission right now, has... I have a lot of uh, current. Mm -hmm. You know, you're dealing with the current issues. How often do you talk about where the town, where we want the town to go, and what that looks like? It well, leads I think into that's, our everyday discussion or every meeting discussion. It, it's so just, do you ever have just a, a focused meeting around that topic? Not Maybe specific. the planning commission does. The planning yeah. commission is more in tune with, you know, what's the planning for the future of the town for development and designated rural areas, um, wildlife habitat issues, crossings. Um, they've done a lot of work on that. Um, I think, you know, like the town hall renovation project, that's kind of a looking at what the town has for the future for use of a municipal building, for use of a cultural facilities location. Right. So I think it's all is there is all there anything to do with like like uh, increasing like the sense of community and like perhaps bringing in like uh, like businesses and I don't know even like places to I mean I know we've got some hiking trails and mm -hmm. I don't know strengthening the community farmers markets. So, I want yeah. I want to respond. Sure sure. Um, I think I hear I hear what you're saying, yeah. and I think what you're what you're wondering about is kind of where is the vision and where is kind of, where is really the leadership and the driver for our town in the future, and I would say it's with the townspeople, um, and there are places like the planning commission that are specifically charged or the conservation commission. or conservation commission. You remember that each of these official entities, whether it's the select board. Conservation Commission, the Planning Commission certainly, each of us is grounded in statutory authority mm -hmm. to do what we do. And the select board's job is actually managing the budget and making sure that the, the roads do their job and then kind of overseeing all of the other stuff, but mostly from a budgetary standpoint. We don't, have, we don't really have authority to muck no, in what others are yeah. doing so and doing what we do it turns out to be a full-time job oh, right. but but yeah. the but the vision and the innovation and the leadership for where is our town going i think comes from the town itself and they come to us and say we want to do this we want to have an edible garden on town property at town hall can we do that and we're just so <coughs> thrilled when townspeople who aren't, you know, sitting down a couple of times a, a month spending, you know, on a low end five to ten hours, Denise spends, you know, 40 to 60 hours on just the business of the town. But when other people who who have, you know, have kind of that, that brain space to say, let's, let's go to the select board and ask, can we put an edible garden in? And we say, yes, please do, thank you. That's, I think it's the right. collaboration I mean, people, of, and, you know, know, people contact us drivers and us as support. Right. People contact us with different ideas, like you were here for Peter's Harvey's discussion about invasive species. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, 
different people in town have different things that are a priority for them, so we encourage them yeah. to come and talk to the select board, and we're open and willing to consider all kinds of new ideas, mm -hmm. new visions. Um, and but there's not like a think tank, if that's what you're right. looking and, and for. And project by project, it's kind of a cover here, but also what bleeds into our conversations pretty much every select board meeting when we right. talk about budget, for instance. Mm -hmm. you know, we're concerned. We, we have an mm -hmm. aging demographic in the state, mm -hmm. and we're seeing it in this town. And mm -hmm. same, so that means people are going on retirement. Mm -hmm. If you're mm -hmm. lucky, you're, you're, your pay is cut in half in retirement. Some right. people aren't that fortunate, right. they have much less. Yet our taxes continue to skyrocket, and that's a statewide phenomenon. That's a, yeah, a so problem, though. Some of it we mm -hmm. can control, a lot of it we can't. Right. Education funding, right. we can't, really. Right. Um, but um, so that comes up, and what's our future, and what's that going to do? Are folks going to be able to still remain in this town who want to stay, mm -hmm. or will they be forced I, out because they can't? I need a draw to like, want people to live here. Well, and that's that's and, a really good question. Like a, and yeah, we're worried exactly about our exactly. elementary school. Yeah, uh, no, if the population yes. drops off, oh, yeah. Yeah. and we're concerned that now with this consolidated district, that we're part of that lawsuit against the fighting the force merger. Mm -hmm. right. We're concerned that it could drive closure yeah. of these element these yeah, rural elementary schools. Well, it's going to up our property taxes. That merger. And that's going to yeah. So. Yeah. Right. yeah. And so, the, uh, I'm and sorry, go ahead, Rose. Um, the Callis Town Plan, which the Planning Commission works on on a continual basis and it's renewed and updated every five years, really lays out a good vision for the town. And mm -hmm. if ever you've had a chance, and it's online, you go yeah, to Cal sorry, say it again. The, the Callis the Town, town Plan. Plan. Okay. It's on the yep, town yep. 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 And so it, it talks about, um, it identifies historical things, it talks mm -hmm. about the current and the future. It comes up with a plan, it comes up with goals, and then it also identifies like who is going to make sure that that goal is met, Great whether centers. it's the select board or the conservation commission or whatever. Yeah, historic who, preservation. Who created that plan that's on the, the town, the, the planning commission. Planning commission. It's been, de it's been developing over the years, yeah, yeah. so it's, 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 it's like a constant work in progress yeah. to move us to the future or the sure, vision. Sure. And you'll, you'll understand it a lot better once if you read that. to the planning commission right. yeah. and yeah. attend a few yeah. years more. If you meetings. read it. I would, I would much more perform a uh, supportive role based on my past experience. Yeah. But, uh, but I, yeah, it sounds like... would love to have you. Would be, uh, yeah. Well, and to be clear, the, the, pla the, planning, well. the planning commission develops it, but they do it through a public process. Yeah, right. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, and, then, and, then, and then the town yeah. has to approve it. Yep. 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 Um, and then conversely... No. A lot it's of innovation that approved. happens, the select, select board approves it, but it doesn't yeah. make zoning, it. zoning gets approved by the town vote. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. what, okay. select board does. But in, yeah. yeah. Um, the other thing I want to add to what you are saying a few minutes ago, Jonathan, is, and, and what folks have been contributing, is, you know, a lot of the kind of innovation that we, that people are interested in, we don't have to approve that. Nobody has to approve it. I mean, yeah. you can... Yeah. Yeah, people can are free to make things happen. They only need approval if if they want to spend town mm -hmm. money, really. tax yeah. dollars. Yeah, tax yeah. dollars. Other than that, I um, would encourage you to go to a planning commission yeah, meeting. Uh, yeah. They're the first and third Tuesdays of the month. Okay, so probably. Um, oh, no, would there, be one this there would be one. Oh, on see, Katie this brought this up. Yeah. June fourth. June fourth. Okay. Yeah. This is the, that's the town plan. Oh, I mean, it's long, but I think if you're interested, you'd find it an interesting document. Mind? No, you can just go on the town's website. Yeah, yeah, website. It's on the town's website. Yeah, website. Yeah, I'm putting yeah. it in the link. Calisvermont.gov. Yeah. 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 Cool. There. That'll be good reading material for you. Yeah. How long is it, Katie? It's like 110 yeah. pages. Wait, really? Well, it's dense. Well, the vision's only like three pages. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It, it really is interesting, though, and you really will learn a lot about the town. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. It's, I've been gone for a little while now, so it's... Where were you? I was living upstate, south of Syracuse. Oh, um, New York. Yeah, what I what town? Area, uh, Skinny Atlas. Oh, pretty town. Yeah. Wow. I was working in design firm there for about nine years. You mean wow. uh, what kind of design? Design consultancy. Of... Uh, so I personally worked on a lot of different with a lot of different clients. Mm -hmm. One of the uh, 
one of the bigger ones most recently was uh, Paul, mm. which is a global filtration company. I know, Paul Filters. Yep, yep. Uh, we were helping them develop uh, a uh, way to manufacture biopharmaceuticals. Mm -hmm. So the most efficient way to continuously manufacture them, which is a process that didn't currently, wasn't currently possible. So we were trying to support them mm -hmm. to create a system that was easy to use, um, kind of a future vision for mm -hmm. them. So, yeah. So you moved back to Vermont? Yes. yes. So you moved back to Vermont? For now, yes. Yep. Yeah. Uh -huh. Kind of focusing on, uh, trying to focus on, like, figuring myself out, to be honest, mm -hmm. which is a hard enough thing uh, based on, like, the way things are mm -hmm. yeah. these days. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Um, yeah. And, uh, and hoping that in doing so, I can then contribute to, like, other people yeah. at a higher capacity. Yeah. Okay. Well, good, well, to know. good luck. Thank yeah. You. <laughs> good for you. Yeah. All right. You ready to move on? Yeah. All right. Do we have any Act 46 stuff? There is going to be another um, Australian ballot vote on June 20th on, on the budget. On the budget. Hey, Nate. Bye. Yeah, Bye. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Nice meeting you. Yeah. Really helpful. Great. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Welcome yes. back. June 25th. I think it's June 25th, isn't it? What, on what, on sure what it it's on the It's on the um, combined budget. The, 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 like, we didn't take it all away at the last one sort of thing? Is yeah. That it's, so it's, so it's, we, it's, we voted on individual district budgets, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. But, but by um, June, July 1 will be officially merged, and so they're going to merge budget, and all they did was add up the individual budgets to right. like one, which there's... There's Not the end of details, uh, say, but that's something we should all be looking yeah. at as residents, um, voters. Okay. There was a meeting of the legal team and representatives uh, last week. Was there? I was there. Scott Bassett was there. Because mm -hmm. um, it's still in, it's going to Supreme Court. Scott was there. Scott. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we're looking for uh, stay. There's, yeah, because there's a lot of issue with not just our district, but other districts where towns that didn't vote to take on debt are having to take on debt. So that's one of the yeah. that's one of the big how, things. How do you encumber how do you write a budget and encumber towns that well, for instance, we're taking on the the, res, the debt obligations of East towns that are part of our newly merged district right. for East Montpelier and Berlin, for instance, and we don't we didn't hold vote title on. to that real estate yet. So how can you assign debt when a real estate hasn't been assigned. That's in the budget, for instance. And so there's uh, 2 million, there's 12% increase in our education yeah, tax, our local education tax two, We're taking on 2.5 million, right? Two, from other towns? Two, I think. So that's a big deal. So, so but what anyway, so. It's not constitutional. Um, it would be long, I don't know. Yeah. We'll see what the Supreme Court does. Um, we didn't anticipate that the lower court would do anything anyway. It yeah. just, it's like the breaking decision, you know. That wouldn't happen at the lower court. Right. It's, it's precedential and standing things on its head. And the so. legislature didn't do anything. Uh, unless they slipped something in somewhere that I haven't heard about. That as of last week, they hadn't done anything. And there, there was nothing anticipated. And, the house, of extensions. Is, and the house is adjourned, but the Senate is still meeting? Is that what I heard? I don't know. I kind of turned it out. My issues are done, and I don't care about the squabble. <laughs> yeah, that's what I heard. That they adjourned the house. And not the Senate, which is like historical right. in nature that they. Well, it's it's this first half of the biennium. So right. whatever doesn't get done, it can be done next year. Uh, right. People lose <clears throat> lose focus on that. They don't, things don't die. Okay. Any so, CVRPC update? Not really. Um, the Waterbury Town Plan was approved. Their energy plan was a separate. Document they didn't mm -hmm. the CERPC uh, was a defect in its warning, so they're rewarding it. Um, there were some concerns raised <coughs> because Waterbury said, you know, from what I, I haven't read the energy plan, but my understanding from the staff summaries and folks that spoke um, the other day last week, um, the uh, they they're saying, you know, the ridge lines there are open for. For energy development, and there, there are no restrictions, and I, I don't know. Um, so, 
there was comment from people on the Worcester and Middlesex side. They were like, whoa, guys, it's going to impact us. And there were actually, they, you know, they, there was a case where a telecommunications tower was shot down by the PUC not too long ago because of critical wildlife habitat in Cold mm. Forest. But I wanted to build a tower. And rather than seeing that as instructive, my understanding, this is a little bit hearsay, but what was communicated to the full commission last week was that that went unaddressed. That they can, <laughs> you can still build projects up there, and it's going to be all on the PUC. I, I don't see that as good planning, but we are, we're limited in terms of what we can deny as long as it falls within state statute, statute. statutory parameters, and it falls within the bounds of our regional plan. Yeah, um, we're obligated to approve it. I, I I need to look at it a little closer because I'm not sure. If it, mm -hmm. I have to see if it falls within statutory limits. But. Okay. Um, all right. So that's what's going on there. All right. Great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, appointments and reappointments. I think we're down to the last. So that okay. list was the those that remain because there right. are other. Okay. Yeah, we did other appointments. Okay. Katie put together a list remaining. By the way, okay. Katie's doing multitasking Everything. tonight, doing documents and minutes. Two different computers going here. Oh, I think. Yeah. Is that Cliff's? Pretty talented. This is the town. I oh. can't do them both because I can't figure out how to project one image and also type the minute. So I'm. Oh, really? There probably is a way. So you I don't type know. on the Mac? That's right. Um. All right. So, Katie's got the list. Um, can we reappoint um, Greg? Yeah, to anything. Okay. <laughs> Inspector of Lumber? Oh yeah, he said that. Fast fewer. Yep. All right. So there's the list. Um, I'm assuming that everybody is okay with their reappointments. I've reached out to like everybody, and nobody has said no. So I would hang move. on. Hang on before we do that. Denise, I have a question. Okay. Um, do we reappoint you? Because you're drawing the salary. Small, you know, yeah. as select board assistant. But I'm just curious how that all. Works. I'd have to go back in the minutes and look and see when that was done because you probably should again. We should again because we want to preserve the awareness that we actually do have that position at a very mm -hmm. small part time. You know, Katie can probably do a search. She figured out how to do a search of Google Minutes. Yeah, no, that's, yeah, that's it. So could you put that on the yeah. list, Katie? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. I think it was like in the. And it is important to keep track summer. of your hours, even those you're not looking to be compensated for, just so oh, we have right. a fix for one day when you say I can't do it anymore. We then know well, what you need to make no, up. No, I get that that's what we're asking. That's, yeah, because yeah, she's, you know, you don't know when you're being chair and when you're being assistant. Well, yeah. A lot of it, it does seem to kind of tie together. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I mean, I was answering but, emails and phone calls on Sundays, you, and then I put it on the agenda, and mm -hmm. so it all kind of... But you you work, I'm guessing, 40 to 50 hours a week on between all the meetings that you choose oh, to go to. Um, most of that is chair, you're, you're ch and you're choosing to do that as chair. That's, you know, not every, not every chair historically has gone to all of the... I'm assuming various yeah. meetings that you take home. Probably. I mean, I think it, it helps to have that connectivity. Right. So. Right. But it's basically a full time job at this point. Oh. Yeah, it so is a full time job. No, it is, a, it is a full time And that's something we have to think about. I mean, to Jonathan's point, yeah. that's not necessarily sustainable. It's sustainable for you are doing it, mm -hmm. but yeah. other. Town's getting a good deal right now. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I just want to make sure it's on our radar in terms of the mm -hmm. work effort outside of the chairs. Work. Yeah, I I have never because thought of how I can point, keep track. Well, I don't know. Just be good, maybe at the year end, some give us a summary in one paragraph. Probably thirty percent of my total hours is spent on this, or yeah. over and above is spent. And then we know because if we have to hire a staff person, then we know how many hours to expect. Right. Right. So we don't get all tangled up. Um, the uh, second constable that 
that's a vacancy we're looking to still fill, right? Right, and Wilson was going to be talking to somebody about okay. that. Um, but Elizabeth Perry, I know we just re we just appointed her as the second animal control officer, but I want to make sure that her appointment doesn't lapse because I can't remember without going back and looking at all the minutes when we appointed her. Whether it was after I think it was after March, so I think we're good. Yeah. So that's already done. So that was so that's already done. We don't need to do that again. Mm -hmm. But we do need to appoint um, everyone else on this list. Um, some of them aren't done right now, like the listers are voted, the moderator is done at town meeting, treasurer is appointed. We don't do, um, oh, hey, oh. Let's um, and it's now the delegate, now it's not called Central Vermont ISP anymore, it's CD Fiber, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Okay, so do you want to just approve or reappointing those as noted on this list, or should we read them out loud? Either way, I'm fine with not reading them, but I do think they should be individually listed. In the yeah, yeah, in the minutes. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that'd so, be great. I think that's fine. All right, so I would make a motion that we appoint those as noted on this list. Those are one with the yeses and okay. Right? Yes, and then Greg Pelchuk for Inspector of London. Yeah, I have that on my mm -hmm. on my list now, but I, I couldn't get a hold of you guys. He's been doing a lot of inspecting of lumber housing. Yeah, I'm sure. Checking Just like for, uh, Peter Hart was in a lot of way of coal. Beetles, sure. Well, Inspector of Lumber, that could happen with the Emerald Ash Borum. Right. So you made a motion, I'll second it. Okay. Good for All those in favor, please say aye. 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 And should I not include anybody who doesn't have the word yes next to them? Like Scott Bassage, Historic Preservation Commission? Oh, maybe we did. Yes. Um, no, I'm saying I've got on my list, okay. Do you want me to give okay. you this list? Oh. There's a few blanks. Yes. Well, what about Toby on the Vermont State Police? Yeah, I'm, I'm saying okay. Yes, I see. Okay. Um, Toby, you have your yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yes. Okay. Okay. I asked them both, Peter and Toby. Probably the only blank you have is Ernie. No, I think we should go ahead and reappoint him. Okay. Um, oh, okay. That was my question. All right. So yeah. we are literally so reappointing no all of the blanks. <laughs> okay. Correct. Okay. okay. Except for Elizabeth, because we already did that. Right. I just wanted to make sure we we're all on the same page with that, that we didn't need okay. to do that. And like I said, some of these are really not reappoint. There are appointments or reappointments, but they're not done now. That makes sense. There's the ones, employees. the ones that are crossed off. Well, those right. are employees. Oh yeah, that's right. Right. Like list well, listers are voted. Best yeah, is voted. Right. Um. Good for she gets appointed every year. Right. But Toby, State Police Advisory Board, I'm assuming he's okay with that. I'm sure Scott's okay with preservation, or historic preservation. Greg's a yes. Did Toby's term really end two years ago? Um, I guess it probably did, but I think we've reappointed him. Last I knew, he wasn't ever going anyway. Yeah. It's just Peter Harvey who goes. Oh, you're talking about the operations manager. Oh, no, I'm talking about the state police advisory board. Yeah, board. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. That was more like, what was that, neighborhood watch kind of stuff. Well, yeah. I went, I went I, to I it went once, to and um, it was really quite informative. And if I didn't have a conflict on the day that it met, I would have been interested in going. They meet in um, one of the hospital conference rooms, and... Um, I bet it's, it's very interesting. Yeah, it's very interesting. They have a guest speaker who talks well, about whatever. Maybe what? And, um, monthly or quarterly? Or? I think uh, it's quarterly, isn't it? I remember Paul White used to do that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, Jane English used to be on yeah. the board. Oh, yeah. His advisory board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they yeah. might do it once a month, but for eight months out of the year or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was interesting, but it, I had a conflict on. It's like the third Tuesday of the month or something, and yeah. you can't do the third Tuesday. So. Okay, so well, there was a motion and a second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. I mean, no. So, um, did you have stuff for us? On the. We were supposed to talk about the truck and I procedure. Yeah, we already did all that. Okay, I believe. 
Um, no, do you have anything to update us on? Do you have anything to update us on with it? The, like the uh, truck, the one ton truck? The in one ton the truck is the well, the frame has been welded. Oh, okay. It's now a formula for being fixed for the turbo. They said hopefully by the end of this oh. week we'll have it back. Yeah, it went down for, that's what it went down for. We right, the turbo. the turbo. And then they discovered the frame was broke. So then we had to regroup and the frame is now fixed. Okay, good. It's a weld, so it's, it is mm. what it is, but. And, it's, and they passed it inspection-wise, okay? They said they will, they will sticker it, yes. Okay. Will they give us, will they give us a certificate off. saying that that weld meets standards and all that? Uh, uh, they didn't give me anything, no, but they said they would put a sticker on it next time around if need be. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm worried about some other inspector not willing, being willing, unless there's a certificate saying this weld was met. No, it's, I mean, that thing that, that Greg gave us last week will get us through that. Okay. Right. I think we'll be fine. What so thing that Greg gave us last week? Greg gave us, uh, I don't have it with me, but it's, it was, it was a, a printout of the federal, um, federal DOT standards. Right, saying okay. it was yeah. permissible to, to, to weld. weld. Yeah. Okay. I don't think he handed it out to all of us. I think he gave it yeah. to you. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. I, I we discussed it. Yeah. We. <laughs> yeah, we discussed it. Okay. Oh. Okay. So that was that's that's good. Yeah. Um, we talked a little bit about. Is that it on the truck? Uh, well, no. I'm waiting on the truck to get back so I can get a value for it. Uh, trade in value. Uh mm huh. -hmm. So that we can continue to move forward with that. So if the trade is low, will we try to sell it outright like we did last time? I think, yeah, we'll try to do that if it's, okay. you know. Now, is that the one they were holding for us for a couple of weeks? Yeah, well, I, I asked them if they if they could, and they said they would. They would. But they, you know, there's only three of them left. They had 11 of them, there's only three left. So right, I remember you saying that. They're going pretty fast, and uh, the, part of the issue is they hold these slots for the body builders. Mm -hmm. So... They've got two slots for Fairfield, and that's the one, that's the company that we'd want to use. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just, you know, would like to grab that slot if they yeah. need them. Okay, so I will put this back on the agenda for June 10th, and this would be... Um, approve, consider and approve. Consider... Yeah, and I should have the... Consider, um, and now this would be a lease? It's a lease, yes. Consider... Lease option of a of one ton pickup. Yeah, one ton dump. And I should have the trade in value by then. Okay. I'll probably I'm already talked to Dan Croy, the salesman. But I can't. I mean, I don't. Yeah. Don't want him to go down to Formula Ford and look at a truck that's half tore apart. Mm -hmm. it's not possible, but to approve. <coughs> Okay. Um, I did a quick update about what I knew with road damage from all this nasty weather we've been having. Katie mentioned, updated us on the Worcester Road that Monday morning and then the Pekin Brook Road flooded. Yeah. Was there any other? Um, Worcester Road. Yeah. Uh, that was the biggest flood event that we had. Where was Where? that? <clears throat> Collar Hill. Plugged up a couple of culverts and then just uh, took off down the hill. And really? Mm -hmm. Did it wipe the road out? The side of the road. You know, right. It was a good three foot gully. So wow. we, spent, we spent a day wow. there hauling gravel to fix that. Oh, and that was the post that Jamie Bone put on Front Porch Forum. Yeah. 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 So that actually affected the Worcester Road segment or it went no, down the Collar Hill? Collar Hill Road. It was okay. actually on Collar Hill. I, okay. I call it the Worcester Loop because it's. Yeah, it's yeah. the Worcester Loop. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was actually on Collar Hill. Uh, okay. So between that and Peak and Brook, we must have totaled well, up some I've, dollars, right? I figured it was under, see, they give you a threshold, the, mm -hmm. the Regional Planning Commission, and I figured we were under the 10000 Oh, okay. So I'd already talked to them and said it was, they asked me if it was 0 to 10, and I said, well, I'm sure it'll be under 10. Mm -hmm. And I haven't done the math, but I've... Really? Done. Labor, culverts, equipment? Really? We haven't done any culverts. I mean, we didn't really wash any Oh, oh okay. They just got plugged. Oh, okay. They just got plugged, and they're mm -hmm. able to clean the, the, 
the okay. breed out when, when the water starts flowing. But okay. in the middle of the night when it's raining, right. we weren't out there to clean those culverts. And, right. You know, right, well you wouldn't know. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> but I'm just saying, <laughs> you we didn't been out have there to change any culverts. We just <laughs> yeah. fixed, the, fixed the damage. Um, and it's I, been wild. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, then there was some other small spots here and there that we just, yeah. you know, fixed with a grader. Um, so I don't think it was, I don't think we're over the $10,000 mark okay. for that. All right. Um, we went and looked at the Conservation Commission's meetings, minutes, the one that you were at, yep. about the mowing and um, I guess the hydro cedar. They're waiting for you to get back to them with some more information? Yeah, they wanted to, their concern was the dye that is in the mulch. Yeah, I remember I brought that up. And we have found out that it's food grade dye. Yeah. So it's very harmless. Mm -hmm. So um, it's, it's brand, but there are a zillion brands out there. So there's a bunch, yeah. Yeah, so I, I mean, I looked at some, some are like organic y and some are yeah. conventional. And, right. So you, whatever the supplier so carries. The supplier that we're yeah. tough dealing with, we're trying to buy some with Town of East Montpelier. Because if you buy a, truck, a tractor trailer load, you get it super cheap. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Eight dollars off a bag. So yeah. wow. it's worth buying a bunch of it. So yeah. if, if he can buy some, we can buy some. So that's the supplier we've talked to, and mm -hmm. they're sent, they're telling us that their stuff is food grade dye. Hmm. So it's not a toxic. Remind me how much the hydro cedar is again? Uh, it was, was it 13? Yeah. It was 13 and some change. So where would you store all the supplies if you bought a half a tractor trailer? Well, that's part of, part of the issue. I mean, we do have some space in the cold storage. <coughs> at the garage? The shop. Um, so we drop Come on pallets? Yeah. Can we tarp it maybe? Yeah, it's in these little bags are like two and a half foot by like, mice, pellet, like pellet bags. And mice yeah. will mice will get after them. Oh shoot! Right. Um, that's a good question. I'm not sure. <laughs> they would. A little mice. Well, it's seed. Thanks, man. Yes. No, but it's seed, made with newspaper. Yeah. The seed is separate. The seed you add separately. It's not in the bag of mulch. Oh, oh, okay. So you add that to what I mean. You can put whatever seed you like. Well, you put fertilizer in too. Yeah, you can put fertilizer. Which don't say that to the conservation commission. Yeah. Because they're totally against using any sort of fertilizer. And I told them I said this grass will grow without it. Right. Depending on the type of soil. Well, I don't every think every type of soil is going to be different. Right. I don't think we want around town. So it's got to be Vermont spec without phosphorus. Right. <coughs> sure, that's what or just don't use it. I mean, yeah, right. it without using it. I mean, that's, yeah. That's, yeah, I think it'll, it's going to grow anyway. I mean, that's the beauty of this, this mulch is that it'll grow. Yeah. Right. You know, it'll grow grass without any. Right. So it was 13348. And are, are you, so are you going to go? Are you scheduled to go back to another conservation commission meeting? I was supposed to just it? get a hold of her, but I didn't get that information until today. Oh, okay. Um, so I was supposed to get a hold of her, and she was going to get back with you with their right with their thoughts. Okay. The the issue here at the meeting is just that <coughs> the timing. Well, they, our, our budget but they they told money. you what they wanted, and if you find what they wanted, then you should just do it. Right. Or just shoot her an email, right? And just right. say, it's food grade dye. Yeah. We're, we're, not gonna, yeah, we're not going to use... I've answered their, or I will answer, have answered their concern. Yeah, right. He doesn't right. have a chance to do and it yet. They today. need to get with you to, so that you can get their... their right. Sort of well, we approve it. We were just looking for their feedback. And if their feedback is that it, it's kind of <coughs> free. Yeah. Well, that was the only issue that they yeah. brought to me. Was the, it's yeah. our approval. It's not theirs. We just look and give them an opportunity to so have input. Right. We now know what their concerns are. Sounds like you've met them. Don't miss the purchase. Right. Yeah. Well, that's what I was, was starting to say. Is that, you know, we've got a month to get it out of the district <coughs> budget. So, so we get that coming, we should have a decision fairly soon. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if you want to try to do that tonight under this agenda item. Plenty of money in our, in our budget. Yeah, I know that. Okay. There's like over a hundred thousand in there. So we got mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> about a month to go. Mm -hmm. Just over a month. So. All right. So, would somebody like to make a motion? 
I'd move that we authorize the purchase of the hydro seating unit for 13. 348. 348 and um, purchase of our share, whatever the price is, we don't price on that exactly, of the uh, right. tractor trailer load of the mulch product. Right. And we would like it to be fertilizer free or not? It doesn't come with fertilizer. Mm. You add to no, it. No, it's a mixture. I mean, you can. The, the mulch is just mulch. You mix it in oh, seed. It's and just seed mulch. It's not like a big mixer. Yeah. Okay. Put the seed in. And gotcha. It's got like an agitator in there. And it's like a big tank. Like a big blender. Kitchen, like a big kitchen aid. Blend it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> right. Okay. Is there a second? Second. All right. Oh, you got to purchase seed too. Yeah, but that could be. But it's all product, right? You're not going to buy a truck to show over that. No, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> that's expensive. No, stuff. I mean, that stuff actually has a shelf life, too. And that yeah. Would be, that would be, we'd have the same problem with mice and mice. Oh, mice left a little bit. Oh, yeah. It has a nice, fat-looking mice, right? We'll buy that, you know, as we needed it. All right. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Um, Can I, we have $100,000 left in the Well. I think we should Roughly. wait and see what Sandra has on June 10th because there's still bills coming in and out. And right. Yeah. I mean, that's surprising. Well, the, last, the last I knew from her was a couple weeks ago. It was 140. Yeah, and that's what I think when I checked with her, that didn't include payrolls and sure. you know stuff like that. Because right. we were this year, we thought we were going to push it over for sure. That's what, didn't we hear that last meeting? So, right. Yeah. yeah. So we thought. But I still, I still, I just want to be cautious. No, so, that's why I'm drawing it out because yeah, I want to yeah. make sure that we, <clears throat> right. you know. I always. First, I heard this. Now we're in that. I can assure you that we will not be in the red on the highway side. Maybe on on the others, but highway will not be. Yeah. Okay. According to what I'm hearing from Sandra. Yeah. And now so she's I'm been out sick. By listening to her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, um, and I know how much money I put on the work orders too. So, right. Right. You know, so I don't, I don't. I think we're in fine shape. Good shape. Okay. That's good news. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, roadside mowing. We went and again looked at the conservation commission's minutes, yeah. and just endorsed or approved what they had suggested, which was, Katie. Early June. Early, early June. Early June. Early June. And, and, yeah. And so I'm assuming you're going to contact Doug. I will now if we've made that decision. Yeah, we have. Okay. Um, and the other issue is um, Peter Harvey is going to do the charitable thing on exclusion zones. Exclusion zone, and the and the caveat to that is he's got to go and talk to every neighbor. He's going to come back to our meeting on June 10th and report back, and he's talked to everybody. And he's going to be responsible for the hand cutting. That's what I was just going to say. So he's going to make sure that the places last year that didn't get mowed get some kind of clearing because people were concerned about sight distances and burdocks. And so he's going to pull the gerbil out mm -hmm. first and then go back and cut it? That's, that's his plan. Uh, he said it already has little seeds on it. Yes. No. The gerbil. No, 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 buds. buds. Oh, buds. I'm sorry. Scare us. And he's going to try to get the neighbors, but, some neighbors to help him. Flower. But he's got to he vote anything yet. He's got to go back next meeting and show us that he's contacted all the well, neighbors. Okay. So we don't have an issue. So those will be put up in places that we don't want Doug to cut. Correct. Yeah, just, just like New Peter year. Harvey yes. and so, John Bray Vance. And well, you know, they don't mow roadside mow by you anyway. Just that's right. why I put signs up. I might talk to Doug, but yeah. Um, then also the uh, not weed. You guys spoke with them, or you spoke with them about the row crew being responsible for that? Was that correct in the minutes? Row crew is responsible for not. That's what it sounds like in the minutes. That's what it sounded like. Row crew would be cutting the not weed so as, so the mower wouldn't be doing it and spreading it all over. Katie's going to be sorry. That's not what I meant it to. Could be. Okay, maybe that's in the minutes, but I didn't agree to it. No. Oh, okay, I was wondering. I was like, no, wow, I, I, really I, I, I've got enough to do. I mean, we Sorry, do, there are places, um, I think maybe where oh, yeah, that comes okay. from okay. was uh, there are places where that knotweed overtakes our signs, like down here on Beacon, yeah. where we turn off 14. Mm -hmm. 
It'll, it'll oh, bear that's crazy. The speed limit. Oh, that not yeah. I mean, the speed limit is sign is six feet tall, eight feet tall, and mm -hmm. it's over the top of it. So I do go and clear that mm -hmm. so that the sign is visual. What do you, weed web? Right, yeah, it's right there, Kitty. Chainsaw. There we go. Chainsaw. Oh, really? It says the road commissioner pointed out that not weed growing very tall blocks traffic visibility. The commissioner, the commission considered options for management. The commission supported the road crews cutting of not weed for road visibility. Oh, okay. In those particular areas. Okay. Yeah. In those particular sense. areas. Okay. But yeah. In the case of not weed on roadsides without a visibility safety issue, the commission did not come to a consensus on whether to post no mow signs. So, the jury's still out on the, some of the not weed right. stuff, but the places that you know of that you routinely take care of, is I'm assuming what they meant. Yeah, I mean, there's another spot on Moscow Woods, just on the blacktop, mm -hmm. around that corner. That becomes very yeah. hard. So yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I've done that in the past too, going there with a chainsaw and just cut it back. Okay, and we signed the grant agreement for the, the Moscow, Moscow Woods, Woods Road paving. tonight. Yep. Okay, great. So that's all set. Yeah. Um, so, oh, it's well, like you might want to. Well, you know what. Well, I'm just thinking of it. Mm -hmm. um, I was driving up Tucker Road and there were like black leaf, or black trash bags, like three of them in, this, in the in the ditch area on the north side. Where is that? Between, like where Doug Lilly renovated that field mm -hmm. across on that other side. I don't know if that was green up stuff was or if that was trash bag? dumped. Is it green up stuff? No, it yeah. wasn't a green bag, it was black bag. But they, the way they were laid out, it seemed like maybe somebody cleaned up and then put stuff in that. But, or maybe somebody dumped trash. No, they're not trash and they're not. They're not trash? Well. How do you know? Do you know what they are? I didn't. I didn't like open them and do a thorough inspection. I don't blame you. But I, I did wonder about them. Okay. I, that I was walking by. Oh. Good. And they look like, and in one of them you could even see a stick poking through. They look like. They they're, they look like the debris, you know, leaves and sticks, and I don't know. That's all I got. Maybe somebody. What I wondered is if somebody cleaned. It. Actually, I was I was walking with a, a friend, and we both thought, well, maybe somebody like pulled all the turbul or the whatever invasive they want to get rid of. But hmm. but we couldn't square the person who would do that work, but then dump it on the road. Like, that's not the same right? person. So. Well, maybe they were coming back, but it's still there. Mm. No, that was a week ago. They're still oh, there. They were we, there, we, there yesterday. It was Wednesday morning last week uh, that I went walking with hmm. a friend and saw them there for the first time. So maybe you're just swinging by. Those, so what do I do with them? Pick them up and throw them in the Just trash. three black trash bags. Yeah. So I'll put it in the school dumpster? I guess so. I guess so. There you go. Make sure it's not a safe body. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I guess so. Yeah. I mean, we don't have any other place to put it. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for yeah. doing that. Yeah. 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 Somebody does a good deed like that, but then doesn't make any sense. Or who knows? Well, well hopefully it's a good deed. I mean, right. Yeah. It's so good to know to, to think that way. Mm -hmm. it, of course. Think yeah. positive, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. I, it's a good deed, but you have to do it. Right. I don't. I would not encourage anybody to open up the bags. And no. I know. No, I wasn't doing that. Yeah. It was well after green it though. It was yeah. just last week that they showed up. So we're on um, traffic ordinance and stop sign. And I thought that actually a couple of people were going to show up for this, but they they didn't. Um, so you'll see where there were some updates to this made in the fall of 2017. We never did anything with it. Um, road names were added to the town highway numbers. And I think, Rose, you had mentioned something on this when we were looking at it last time. But, um, so here's how this came up. I had a request by uh, a resident to put a stop sign at the intersection of Kent Hill and Pekin Brook, which I think we men I mentioned last select board meeting. Mm -hmm. um, then somebody else said they didn't want to see a stop sign, they'd rather see a yield sign. But, and I think a lot of people mentioned that 
you know, that can be pretty dangerous if people aren't paying attention. We need something there. As a practical matter, I think what we said is as a practical matter, put a stop sign there. But there's going to be pushback to only put a yield sign. So, I mean, it does, I mean, we get to make the decision, but I think there does need to be something there, whether it's a yield right. sign or a stop sign. Either way is fine with me. Okay. Um, Whatever you guys Well, I think either way you're probably going to get pushed back, too. Right. Well, I think either way they're going to yield and not stop. So. <laughs> right. That's why we said put a stop sign. Yeah. Put a yeah. stop sign. Right. You know, put, you know, put the strictest standard. People do what they do with stop signs. Right. So in it's making, them, in making amendments. Because there's an accident the town's off the hook. That's right. You put a stop sign. Right. If it's a stop yeah. sign and right. somebody didn't stop, yeah. they're liable or not. Well, so a you know, yield sign works the same way, though, right? If they don't yield, well, they're still if they supposed don't, to they don't stop. Yield. Right. There's more room for argument than a yield. Yeah. Right. It wasn't a yield, it wasn't a, you know. Right. So this, that whole issue brought up the traffic. Um, ordinance, which needs to be updated. There's sections in red that you'll see. Um, and in order to amend an ordinance, you still, and I look this up, you still have to go about it the same way as if you were adopting a brand new ordinance with the um, advertising it in, you know, putting it in notice. Um, voters have, or 5% of the population can ask us to reconsider this and put it out to a vote. It has to be done within 45 days. So it's the whole... The, the request whole, for reconsideration right, has right. to come from 40, within 45 days of tonight? No, because we're not ready to do this, because okay. we really need to review it. Okay. And then this request for a stop sign needs to be put in the change to the ordinance. So I thought oh, we could, it's not in there yet. Okay. Right, so we could do it all at once. But I'd like to get it done um, if we can at our next meeting on the 10th. Yeah, so that's what I was curious about. So what we have, a, what we had in the folder, Denise, I it's, don't think. Yeah, I think it's the one on one. Yeah, we didn't have. I the, sent you the, this one. I and, only have the one that Judy sent though, which I think is older. Yeah, that's not the right one. Yeah, I don't have, I didn't get the atta any attachment aside from that one. Oh, I thought I sent it to you. And you yeah. said you didn't get it? It didn't come. So maybe it's there now. Um, well, anyways, I'll get it to you because Toby had it electronically. Okay. So I'll forward it to you. Okay. Yeah. Woodbury Mountain Road. I've seen mud trucks go by my house. Well, have they been ripping up Woodbury Mountain Road since we did all that work on there? You know? I don't know. I don't I know. know. We had a small washout at the bottom of Woodbury Mountain Road. And I've heard people say that there's a washout further up onto the class four park. Um, but I, at that time, I wasn't able to get up there and fix it on the class four. This weather, they're like, these guys are hot. <coughs> they like, love yeah. this. Well, there was it's actually a mud box on Saturday. Oh, there was? In East Montpelier. Oh, in East Montpelier. So that's probably why you've seen them over by your house. Okay. I, I'm assuming. But I saw them previously, last the previous rainstorm. Um, mm. Coming south, heading north, relatively clean, coming south with the chunks on their hood. So. Yeah, they go down my yeah. road. With yeah, I haven't been up over a mountain road to see. Yeah. I can go check it out if you want. Yeah, we did all that nice work, and mm -hmm. I was worried that they were going to wreck it. Right. Well, we did the work down low mm -hmm. you know, by the first two houses. Right, there. right. Um, that was part of that grant. There. There's no challenge for them. So, so back to the ordinance. Yeah. Um, I can put on the next agenda adoption of revised traffic ordinance, um, but we're going to need to put something in it about the stop sign. So we can probably do that all at the same meeting. I'll just have to take that document that Toby sent, and I think it's in Word and put in um, the addition of a stop sign at the intersection of Kent Hill and um, Pekinbrook. I'll forward it or the email from Toby around. There was also a uh, request to change uh, add signs and add a map on that same document. And this one? Corner Center there. Road, Haggett Road. Yeah. And that you're probably going to get pushed back from. 
We talked about we're not doing We decided not to. We decided not. Yeah. Yeah, we talked about that. Well, I'm just saying that that's what was recommended during in that, yeah, in that yeah. document that you're talking about. Right, right. Okay, so, okay. so we need to, we're not doing it, we need to take it out. that document, that's yeah. all, because that's in that document. You can't okay. just put it in there and without right. changing that if you don't want to do the... All right, so maybe I'll coordinate with you to do a quick review or something sure. of this. Sure, I mean, Toby sent that document to me too, and it's, yeah. it's in there about the, the both, both intersections needing signs. Okay. So if you don't want to open up the can of worms of that, now you might want to take that, you know, you take that out. Yeah. Okay. So Katie's going to put in the minutes to remove the language in the ordinance about signage in Adamant. Haggett Road at Center Road entering Adamant. Road. Yeah. Is there a document that has the town highway number and then the street name? Yeah. So right here. The, the update is the name next to the No, but I'm just saying, uh, aside from that, uh -oh. is the, like, because I would have liked to clarify this, except I don't know all those numbers. Mm -hmm. like the state's map. highway map only has numbers, right? Yeah. Right. Right. State highway map has numbers, and then I have a sheet that gives all the numbers and the name. Okay, that's you what that. Rose is talking about that. That's what I was talking about. Yeah. Because I read this and there were a few areas that I would have liked to clarify, but I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, even that document that I have is not super clear, clear because it's some roads are, are named together as the same, oh. same highway number. Oh. So it's a little bit of a challenge. And it's just the way it was done 100 years ago. I remember mm -hmm. it was done probably could be re-looked at. Is there a way that you could scan that document and email it to us? Uh, or if you can't, or if you're yeah, not... It's in this office somewhere, I'm sure it is. If you know what it, you're talking about, then maybe you could get Barbara or Judy or somebody to scan it and email it to yeah. the select board. Rose, Rose, were you looking at the one online that we had earlier that doesn't have what this one does? Probably. I thought the one that I had... Um, it was dated in 2018. This mm -hmm. one is 2017. I don't remember. If you know something that's 2018, this is more than one. This, yeah, this one, one is better. This is the one Jonathan worked on. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah this one is one. better. That's the updated one. Right. Trust me, with the names. Right. And did you check the names against the highways numbers? I haven't seen this new document. Okay, but this is the, the one. New updated. Yeah, this right. one is cool. Right. This one is better. Um, this is this the one, one that Toby has... just emailed us today. Yeah. This one is <laughs> contains is. a lot of town highway number forty six is Bliss Pond Road. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. Last meeting's yeah. Yeah. Oh, last meeting's folder. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I thought it looked familiar, but yeah. but not but not today. But can okay. you take a look so at here, it? Like it says town highway. Yeah. Right. I mean, I, I don't think he sent it to me. Oh, I thought you just told me he did. No, he sent me the other document about the signs. Right about the signs and what was recommended. Oh, I didn't see that. Changing. Yeah. Uh, Those Sharon are at the end. They're oh, they're all at the end. Sharon just barely read it. The the yellow highlight is the change. Okay, so then you have this document then, or or some Not parts the of new, it. Not the new upgraded ordinance. We're talking about the road ordinance, right? Yeah, that's what this is. I don't have that. That's what I'm saying. I don't have that part. I oh, have okay. is, is the recommendations for the changing of the signs. Okay. All right. I'll forward you Toby's time. email. Do you want a hard copy? Sure. You can have this. So I can print it off again. So okay. except with okay. except. So I think what we're talking about is we all need to, to look at this. We've talked about taking out that suggestion that we've put a stop sign in Adamant. In Adamant. We've, and we have specifically decided not to do that. We've already had that conversation oh. as a board. And now, I think tonight we're having the official conversation about putting a, a stop sign or a yield sign. At the uh, intersection of Pekin and Ken Hill. Right. And, and we're talking, we've talking about a stop sign. Right. And, and are we, do we, that gets incorporated into this, mm -hmm. yay. The, do we vote on, and then we vote on that next week, or do we have to vote on that tonight? I think that... Um, we shouldn't vote on that tonight, because we didn't warn it. Right. Yeah. Right. We just said we were going to talk about it. Um, but I think next meeting, when we're looking at the whole 
ordinance, with that's that when we vote, that's when, with that additional change, mm -hmm. taking out that other issue. Mm -hmm. Then we vote on, then the select board votes and we'll. And then you know, 45 day clock starts. Right, taking. right. Got it. That's the process. Right. Which always seems backwards to me that you vote on something and then the process works backwards, mm -hmm. but it is what it is. So, just for my own use, is, is, isn't this the same as if we ever wanted to change? This process is the same as if we wanted to change speed limits? No, well, no, speed limits are. Yeah, because well, the process the state. would be this. No, we set the speed limit, local speed limit, but we have to set it within the statutory right, the state requirements. Right. So, if we try to set a speed limit below. 35, we have to do a traffic study. Right, because this is what we ran that into on the That then justifies that that's right. appropriate. Limit. Right. At, at, but we can, we can set a speed limit down to 35. 35. Right. That's the cumulative. Without, and then we can do a, so Jonathan could do a traffic study. The one who was just here? Mm -hmm. Well, just me. Yeah. Well, the CVRPC does it. Right. They, oh, they yeah, because they've done it. So, so did you have something in mind? No, I just hear a lot of people chattering back and forth about changing the speed limits in different locations around town. Yeah. And so I just wondered how that process, Right. if this was the same process we'd have to follow to do that. Right. We asked our, um, <clears throat> and I just found actually the email from that whole discussion a few years ago where we asked to have legislation introduced. Mm -hmm to be able to do things differently and it, it, to be able to lower speed limit right, 25 and, without doing a traffic study. Right, and it didn't go anywhere. Um, yeah. need but if somebody really wanted to, there is a path. There is a process. Yeah. So can you, Katie, can mm -hmm. you find uh, Adamant Road? Because there's that bend on Adamant Road. I was talking to Trey Martin at the State House a couple weeks ago. And that's 35 at that bend. Um, or is it 30? I think the bend is 35, isn't it? Right in the village? No. No, as soon as the you come to the top and you take a left, it's, right where that bad mud right was, there. there's a 30 sign. Oh, there is a 30 there? Okay, is that in there? Should we find it's it? 30. Should we, we find it using the word adamant? Like, do you yeah, see it's should, highlighting it? It should be adamant road. There's, yeah, there's adamant. 10 out of 57. A map adamant speed. road. That's the stop sign. Look up, up above. The maximum stop speed stop. of 30 miles per hour beginning at a point 1,300 feet northeasterly of the intersection. Is that what you're talking about, John? That uh, yeah, is that it? Intersection is high, Town Highway 6, is that uh, Lightning Ridge? Maybe. Um, no. Continuing northeast or, oh, northeasterly to 46, is that Lightning Ridge? Yeah, 46. Okay. So you're right, Rose. But, I thought it was 25 further down the hill. Well, we should oh, go down the hill. Maximum 25, the intersection of six, and extending to, oh, the, okay, I see, to 1300, that's by Bar Weedens. Yeah. And then it goes, okay, so that's all legit, okay. And I think, if, I guess I would like to see us put in, where it says Town Highway 6 there, put in the name of the road. Yeah. And Town Highway 46, Katie, is that something you can do? On this guy, yeah. I've opened it as a Google Doc. I'd rather open it as a Word Doc. No, but can you go in where it says, yeah. wherever, wherever, wherever it appears says, in the text, yeah. right? Wherever yeah. it says Town Highway yeah. Six, for instance, can you go in and put in parentheses yeah. what Town Highway Six is? Right, right. The right. Name. I can do that's what I was talking yeah. about. Matching yeah. it up. Yeah, I can edit it once I have the translating sheet. Well, you have it kind of here because this actually does go through. It says it in some places. Yeah, yeah, as you oh, like, goes through every I seat, it's see. not cross-referencing. It doesn't right. cross Yeah, that's cross-referencing. Yeah, cross okay, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. I think the reason, this is totally an aside, I think the reason, Denise, that we pass it first and then people get 45 days is it locks down with absolute clarity what we are going to do. And until, until then, it's just discussion. Yeah, but other things, you don't do it that way. Other things, we have the discussion and then vote. So, I don't know, it's just yeah. weird to me. Well, but we could, when you put it on the agenda, we'll have I mean, a it could be discussion and approval of revised um, right, that's traffic right, ordinance, right. and if people want to come and talk about it, well, then uh, it's right, and then they can, then we, then they have an issue, and then we can say, okay, we're not going right. to adopt it tonight. tonight. We want to do further investigation, and yeah. blah blah blah. Well, then they have forty-five days, and we can revisit. Right. 
can revise well, it. Well, we won't. We wouldn't no. approve it. We at wouldn't that approve point. it if somebody comes with a legitimate issue. We would no, research it. Sure, but I'm, what I'm saying is, we approve it. Say nobody comes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. And we approve it. Then they have 45 days. And then we can revisit it. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And revisiting means we can amend it. Right. Right. Yeah, because I mean. Usually people find out at the last minute or after the fact, and mm -hmm. so I think we're pretty responsive to. So those roads that we have 30 mile per hour speed limits, are those, do those meet the statutory Did we do? Must have been way back when. I remember Clyde Cassidy and I forget who else did a, maybe Lester Toby. I think they, they were on a team of people that drove around town and okay. counted houses. And that's how I think that's how they did it, was they counted houses. Uh -huh. yeah. And however many houses on a road helps determine the speed limit and okay. yeah. Which could probably could be recalculated, I'm guessing. Yeah, it could be. I mean for multiple reasons. There's new house, there's more new houses now. There's yeah, right. Other, right. you know the villages are, are Yeah, like the speed limit on my road is thirty five. Bank Molly Road. But, you know, it's like, that's really... That's growing, huh? Growing neighborhood. Yeah. Well, it's also, it's not a road you want to go 35 miles an hour. No, no, I would think. And also, I there's smart. more traffic. I mean, that was, what was that, 40 years ago, probably? Yep. There's, yep. More, there's lots more traffic. Oh, yeah, we were just talking about that. The road yeah. traffic on our road now is yeah. three times what it ever Why? used to be. People are cutting through. People cut through. Huh. Because they cut through our road mm -hmm. to go to... Yeah. Anyways, that's off top Over topic. Time. Time. Yeah. Off topic. So. Um, all right. So moving on. So um, Cliff was going to do some of this, but since he can't join us tonight, um, this Public Service Department Vermont Microcell Interest Survey. Um, you put that in the file, mm -hmm. right? Uh -huh. So what this is is the Public Service Department is asking for input if towns, if towns would be interested in having these micro cell, where did my paper thing go on that? Micro cells in locations in their town. The cost is $1,800 annually for each one. <clears throat> and it looks like you could have them wherever you might want them. So I was thinking, and I talked to Cliff about it, um, you know, maybe for emergency management stuff, maybe you want one at the town office, the town hall, town garage, and the school. There's some kind of active cell reception because those are all of our emergency management, like the schools are um, emergency shelter, the town hall will be an emergency shelter, this is command central. Getting a hold of people at the garage would be important. And so those are all presumably those are all places that right now don't have cell service. Correct. School gets two hours of Wi-Fi spending. Right. This would be actual cell coverage. Actual so, anyways, just by filling out this survey doesn't mean you have to do it. But um, these are two G. These are old things that have been laying in a warehouse, and they got, they got beat up on it. By some finance on this. So. so I can fill this out just as a, it's just a survey. Yeah. Um, I would just, just FYI, these, these, there's, there's a public dialogue going on, not only across the country and around, around the planet, mm -hmm. about the install of these mini cell towers. Isn't that what David Healy was talking about at, when he updated us on the CV fiber stuff? I don't remember what David was I here. No, I don't know. Was at that meeting. I don't remember. I mean, the micro cells are used to infill where you don't have fiber. Is that where they put the little tiny things on there? They put things on top of the poles, and yeah, and the five G one is the controversial one, not the two G. But um, just FYI, put on your radar. It's becoming a controversial issue. The five G is pretty serious stuff that comes off of it. Oh, you mean the microwave? What do they call that? Yeah. It's radiation, blah blah blah. Yeah, it's real. It's real. It's the real deal. And, oh, really? and it's been basically exempted from everything, without any health analysis and. Kind of like when we're doing the tower stuff. Yeah, 
It's it's like that, but it, but these high that tower would have been at some level of elevation, although that's that's very close to it, some level of elevation. Mm -hmm. These things are at these are about inundating the street level, and if you right. put it near a school, is what I'm thinking. Not all parents would be happy with that. Oh, I see. FYI, so you may want to. Yeah. Well, I think it's just looking for well, ideas. It's just yeah. a survey. Yeah. Um, did, did they ask what spots to put them in? I just caution you about this. Do you want to fill it out? I mean, I can fill it out, yeah. Or you, do you want to, we can work on it together. Yeah, okay. It's not well. complicated. It's like, I, don't, um, I don't know if this is a location. So yeah, you have I, to pay every year for it? These yeah, it's $1,800 $1, annually. Per year. There's a meter. Right. So maybe if you guys want to meter. authorize John and I to fill out the survey and submit it. I don't think it'll take us more than 10 minutes yeah. to fill it out. I, mean, I just need, think we need to make clear that we're only considering 2G at this point. If we're going to go to yep. 5G, it's another conversation that we need to make. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do we need it, though? I mean... I don't think we need any of this stuff, but the some only, people think we do. Right, and the only thing that I can see that it would be helpful is an emergency. And the, and the, and and the, the we'll landline went down. Right. Because we have landlines and here. There's, right, there's like landlines the and we have radios, so maybe we don't really need it. Well, that's been some of the argument. But right. So we can fill it out based on whatever the satellite collective... Satellite phones. Does the school have a satellite phone? Like, what is the emergency plan? There? I think they have the radio. Two-way radio. They got one of those there? They can get a hold of... Uh, no, actually, they... For you? They used to have. For you? What happened? They... Um, they... We lost contact with the buses and the school. Why? I don't know for sure why. That's odd. I can guess. <laughs> yeah, me too, but uh, we won't go there. Do it with the camera going. Yeah, no, we don't. I don't. I can't talk to the school or oh. the buses. Well, I we can bring that up. That doesn't I make any sense. I brought it up to to the superintendent. Like every year, I go to have a meeting with him and say, why can't I talk to the buses? All right. Well, particularly in the winter time, we can ask the school board. Yeah. We have a new trouble. we have a new. I'm going to call a reformed school board, and uh, we hope that there'll be a reformed you, you uh, make project a note of school on the to do list. New superintendent, mm -hmm. future superintendent. Yeah, the current so guy's going away. Katie's going to make a note on the to do list, and maybe we can get that changed. We didn't know that, or we could have maybe tried to help intervene. Which is important. Yeah. Right. There's that last winter's thing. Right, and exactly. by the way, I did communicate by email about to, the tires. to school board. To our school board representatives mm -hmm. about the need to get on the agenda the tires. Um, there was it was in a mix of issues, and mm -hmm. I don't remember. I don't think they ever responded on the tires. They responded on everything else, but I remember. I've been pestering them. Hearing something about. I'm worried that. about them going to contract, and this isn't in the contract. It's going to probably be an upcharge. Is my guess. Because to make safe tires is an upcharge? Studied no, snows, studied good snows tires cost more than those. They put those think, other tires on because they last. Right. I would think that they miles. would want to have some good tires on when they're transporting a bunch of kids around. It's about money, man. It's just private enterprise. <sighs> or, or force them to put chains on. On the front. Right. Back. Well, they need to have uh, studs on the front. I wouldn't want them on the front. But, the but you want area. studded snows on the front. Most of the problems I have with school buses, they lose traction. Right. Trying to take off because they stopped. But like, what happened on then, Lightning Ridge was no steering traction, right, and no braking ability. Right. And when the you majority don't of the time, yeah. I'm just saying the majority of the time, when a bus has trouble, it's because he couldn't get started. Right. Yeah. And if he had right. chains on the rear, he could go. He would go. Well, if they had studded snows and maybe chains also, <laughs> but if they had yeah. studded snows all the way around, they'd be a lot safer they than what they've been doing. Yeah. Right. All right, well, it's on the to-do list to see about why you can't be in contact. That doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, for years. We always, right, we always right. so I thought, I just assumed that it was still that way. Back when I was driving school bus, I could talk, we could yeah. talk to the road crew. And I'm just going to say, part of the struggle has been with this current administration that's about to leave, Yeah, has been we are in charge of everything. They took away the local websites at the elementary school. No longer do they have control of that. Everything gets sucked up to the main office. Right. They have their own. Everything's up there. It's hard to navigate. Um, everything's more cryptic. Right. Um, and and even right down to the school operations, they, yeah. they were actually saying that they owned the school back then. We know they don't now, but right. Um, and so this is all part of that. 
unfortunately. So back to the survey. John and I can fill it out and we can say we don't want to. If that's what you're looking I, I think it doesn't hurt to express interest as long as nothing we're doing is definitive and right. create a conversation. I would just want to yeah. ask yeah. Kat. Like, is oh, this, yeah. I mean, you know, like I said, this is just a survey. Right. So right. we don't need to say no now. Right. But I do think we should keep having a conversation. Yeah. No, I agree. Um, update on RFP for IT services. Cliff and I were so surprised at how many RFPs yeah. we got. He was going to put together this document so we could all kind of score it, but now he's right. not going to be able to do that for a while. Yeah. Right. So I think we need to put off making a decision. I mean, I, there's nothing we, we need need to do. let the bidders know because they could yeah, have put that yeah, uh, miscellaneous, should. that schedule, which yeah. was yeah. way off from what I understood it was. Right. So. Well, the schedule got all off track anyways, and now it's going to yeah. be off track even more. Um, I can talk with Cliff, and I'm, I think he can probably manage to send out an email to all of the okay. people that submitted RFPs saying, due to this issue, blah, 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 we're going to be delayed four weeks or three weeks or whatever we think, or whatever he thinks is reasonable for him in his recovery. Uh, yes. Um, I think that's good. We should be aware of whether, I don't remember whether our RFP asked for a bid that was good for X number of days, but I do know that I in, it is. in some, some of, of the them. bids they said this is good for X number yeah. of, like 180, 180 days. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so we'll, I'll, I'll double check those so that he doesn't have to do that. Katie's speaking a list of to do. Um, yeah, we just want to make sure that we're staying within the. Right, point. right, good point. Um, so that means that we would not need to meet next Monday night, June 3rd, because that's what we were going to do. We were going to go over the RFPs and, right. and um, all that stuff. So if you don't think we need to, we don't need to meet next Monday night. I'd like to see Cliff's summary. Cause I, I, got yeah, to, sure. I, look at, I, I focused on, you know, okay, how far away are they? And I focused on price and I focused on clients. like. One had the VLCT. I mean, right. But I don't know. I mean, all anything. the te all the I technical mean, stuff. I would rely on his expertise and knowledge. I mean, that's. There's one person, one entity well, said Vermont Cloud. Did you see that? They I, did I, their own four gigs. I do think that um, some of that stuff I don't really understand. Four terabytes. Regardless of how we bite this, you know, take this forward, we're going to need more time. Mm -hmm. But it's a good reminder that. We are we're kind of one deep on this issue. Yeah, and you said so, that last time. Yeah, so my question my question is whether there's anybody in the office staff who has technical expertise who could say is it safe? <coughs> maybe maybe Sandra, I don't know. No, I don't think so. Not Judy, maybe. say this. Judy is, might have more. Just okay. Um, this is the this is the function we need. The you know this is what we need. Right. Well, I've already asked them to do that. Okay. Yeah. And then that the last staff meeting last week. Okay. That kind of becomes the backbone right. of how we're scoring them. Well, it's, you know, I asked them all to take a you know because they have their own little staff meeting. Right. Um, and I asked them to look at the RF you know the RFPs so they and give us their recommendation of what they Excellent. think. You know, if it's RB Tech, how do they feel about that going forward? So they should be on it. Yeah. And I think they were planning to come to the meeting. I know Judy was going to come to the meeting on June 3rd. But now she, if we're going to postpone that, then she won't need to. What I'm, I'm concerned, and this is maybe a Jim, Jim Barlow question. It's not strictly legal. But, you know, to what extent has there been challenger even litigation in RFP processes at the municipal level around um, objectivity of reviewing bids. You know, we, we put ourselves, and I think it's good, into a very formal process. And so when you when you say, well, we chose RB Tech or we oh. chose, you know. Oh, and the reasons why. The reason and the mm -hmm. rationale and having a very 
um, clear, precise answer. Clear and and being able to demonstrate that we went through a an objective, mm -hmm. thorough process, not just. Well, I think maybe that. That's where the scoring grid. The scoring grid that's comes where that, in. Yeah. That's exactly yeah. where that comes in. Right. Is, is then it forces us <coughs> into that rather yeah. than. This one was the shortest, and it was really easy to read, and it seems really good. And the there other was one, one I, like that. And the other one I didn't really understand. So uh, yeah. and that would be really that. one's really expensive and not available on holidays. Well, if that's actually true, that's <laughs> those are the kinds of and there's no there's no harm in backing into your yeah. scoring grid and saying I yeah. saw this, I didn't like it. Good, put it in there mm -hmm. so that you it shows up. Well, and like I said, I think we, if, if the bids are good for a while, let's take our time Yes. Um, and do this right. Well, yeah, we want to make sure of that, right. that. The other thing to make sure of is that we're communicating with them in the way that we said we would. Right. Yeah. So that's another process that if you don't follow it, you get dumb. 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 Oh, so bad. Do it. Okay. Scoring grid. Um, question for Updating Jill. Updating bidders. As to schedule and delays in schedule. With delays. Okay, and Katie's taking Due away to unforeseen the, circumstances. Katie always makes me a nice to do list, okay. so that'll be on there. Gee. I, I I mean we would want we would want Cliff to be okay, oh, but yeah, I, I think that, I think it would be okay to say that the person you know, Cliff who you've been corresponding with is out of commission temporarily. Yeah. Yeah. And, and yeah, I'll just run it by him what he wants to say. Yeah. Okay. Unforeseen circumstances. Good enough for me. All right. Um, so let's go on to my quick update so we can do all these minutes that have accumulated. All right. Um, next meeting, which is the 10th, um, Woodbury Fire Department's going to come with their contract, which is due July 1st. Okay. And that's going to include that amount that got voted in at town meeting. Um, so this one that we just talked about, we're going to postpone this June 2nd, third meeting. Um, the volunteer appreciation dinner. Oh, um, if I can interrupt, just because you reminded me. Are we going to go into executive session anymore? We can. Just about yeah. the fire department meeting we had. Yes, we can go in at the end. After we do the minutes. Yes. Nobody's leaving here for those minutes. Okay. The minutes. And and please, Kate, 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 <laughs> you have to cut out um, because it's executive session. I want to talk to you about hay, not something. Yeah. About hay? Hey. Hey. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I spent, I can't even tell you how many hours trying to make that doodle whole thing work. It did work. Well, in a roundabout way, I must have. The original way to do it, you enter the email addresses right into the doodle poll. I entered 91 email addresses 13 times, and it wouldn't work. So oh. I finally used the link thing um, and put it into an email from Gmail. 91 email addresses again. Um, and then Barbara found some that I missed, so she did it too. She did, added some more names. Anyways. So then I went to the doodle poll to confirm the date, and apparently that didn't work. I'm never doing a doodle poll again, can I just say? It was supposed to make life easier. It made my life miserable for two days. I'd do it for a while, and then I'd say, I had enough of this, well, and then I'd come back. You hope that at the end of the back. process you learn this the easy way, and then the next time Right, and so then I'd come back, and I'd do it again, and it's like. <laughs> Anyways, um, Barbara has drafted it. <coughs> a very nice invitation, a reminder invitation, which will confirm the date that will go to everybody, but I based it on the number of participants yep. on a specific date. I didn't, I didn't look at names and anything. I just, okay, this is when the most people can come. Uh, Moe's Backyard is going to do it. All right. So I'll be in contact with them. Um, so two days before June 13th. Sweep the floors. <laughs> two hours before the party. <coughs> Clean the um, well, it's two to two hours, yeah. yeah. Pretty, I'm going to work with, um, Judy said that right now, because we're in between tax season and school elections, that she's going to let me use Barbara to help me get this all set up. 
Because mm. Barbara knows like where to get tables and chairs and. Boy, how many people do you think? I'm thinking like forty. No problem, right? No problem. <coughs> hundred, hundred might be a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so stay tuned. I'll send, you know, that email will probably come out, but I'll probably have Barbara send it out. Um, town office roof repairs. I've been in contact with Andy Felice. He's been after people for bids. We have one bid from Iron Horse that's $2,500, but it's likely that when they take the roof off in certain places, they're going to find rot. <coughs> so we have to decide now if those people are going to fix it or if Andy's going to fix it. Oh, Andy does it? We'll do the scanning scene too? No, he might fix the rot. Oh, I see. Yeah. He'd do a better job. Yep. Yeah. Um, I'm working with Nick Emlin on the revisions to the local emergency operations plan. So hope to do that at our meeting on June 10th. So that just needs to be, you have to do it annually, but... There's just some stuff that needs to be updated. Names and phone numbers and things like that. Um, the Cemetery Commission wants to, us to talk about Poplar Hill. He's playing footsies with me. Hold the cameras on. Now children. <laughs> Do I have to celebrate? You're going to the high school cast <laughs> <laughs> my future date. This is how it starts. This is how it starts. So are folks available at 6 o'clock on June 10th? Yes. Are you available at 6 on June 10th? Oh, probably. It's a Monday. You're supposed to be yes. free. Yeah, Mondays I'm, I never do anything on Mondays. but Because I, I crack know. the whip, right? Well, I know. You always get something for me on Mondays. That's right. Is that a work day for you? Uh, no. Okay. Oh, good. Okay, so and Jim Barlow's going to come. Um, and that's Cemetery Commission? It's six? Cemetery yes. Commission to talk about Poplar Hill. Yep. Okay, minutes. Anything else you guys want to know from me that I didn't report back on? Uh, no. no. So, no. for exact session. Okay. A minor, a small item. Mm -hmm. Small item. Okay, important. minutes. Let's start at the beginning. Katie. Mm -hmm. Can we just go through them all and then vote them once? Yeah, there's, there's yeah. some that are mm -hmm. a little rough. So we have right. March, March 18. March 18. Can we go there? Mm -hmm. Did you have an, I forgot to ask, do you have something, anything else? No, I'm good. Okay. Sure done with me. Can, yep. Yeah. Thanks for showing up. Thanks, Alfred. Good night. Alfred, thanks again for getting Can the bag for these? Yeah, I'll try to get them. Excuse me? There's no notes in these. Should I scroll through so you can look at them? I put notes in. I know Sharon put notes in. This particular guy doesn't have Oh, this maybe this one doesn't have any notes. That's good. Oh, no, there it is. Oh, yeah, there is. See where it says at the end of the sentence, the? Yeah. Should be they. Yep. And then just in a new paragraph. Oh, I didn't go to this one. So I didn't read this one. I didn't read that one either. Um, you weren't there enough. And then it says... Mm-hmm. Messy meeting. Whether this would... Now, what would I mean pudding? What? Yeah, would mean pudding. Would mean uh -huh. pudding? <laughs> pudding? <laughs> what flavor? So it's, a it's a new pudding. type of pudding. Uh -huh. Okay, and then... Yeah, and then... It, I don't remember how many. Uh -huh. I would just say several. And there was... Oh, I know at the top. Is this the one where you... Uh, can you go back uh -huh, to the top? Uh -huh. Not in this one, no. Going. Oh, okay. can, you, can you go back to the top? Mm -hmm. um, there was somewhere, I don't know, oh, it was this geez. set of minutes or which one it was, but you had Toby listed. No, it wasn't this one. You had Toby listed as town manager. Yeah, I think you you corrected that though. Okay, it's not these. You made a note. She didn't yeah, correct she did. it. Right, right. We have to teach Denise how to make the changes. Yes, you do. All right. Um, is that it? Yeah. Okay. March 25th. Well, that's the one where the town manager thing says. Mm -hmm. No, he's not. When he came to talk to Oops. us, 
When he came to talk to us, he was speaking as uh -huh. President, Toby Talbert, President of East Montpelier Fire Department. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is where they mm -hmm. change the name to CB Fiber. Yeah. That's good, and I'll make all these, I'll yeah. leave them up there until I get home. Okay. Okay. And now we're into, are we on to April already? Yep, April 11. April. I think there's a 15th. Is there's a 15th? I thought there was an 11th, no? There was an 11th. The one right above it is a 15th. I remember hitting an 11th. It was an 11th. Oh, here it is, look. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was that oh, yeah, yeah, to edit. Yeah, that oh, that was that fun meeting. Mm. Good. <coughs> yeah, and this thing, and Bruce Johnson had made a. Oh no, I lost an earring. Oh, my puppy didn't eat. Uh oh. Oh no. Um. <laughs> I know. Don't think the worst. No, but I've had it happen before. They pull them out of your ear. Um. Yeah, can you help me make? Because I wasn't at this meeting. Yeah, I know. Bruce Johnson and probably Rose will remember, but he made a comment that the fire department hadn't didn't give us um, the capital budget. Do you remember that? Why don't we? Why don't we? Can we just let this one? Can we just not approve this one tonight and let Katie take a stab at just drafting something to incorporate for her? Right, but I need help on what it was, remembering what it was. Cause you yeah, took, did you take your, you took some notes at that meeting. Um, so we don't have to do this one tonight if we get everyone else's done, but. Um, there was a, a lot, there was a lot. That and I might have made a note too, I can't notes. remember. Yeah. I. But I think it would be important for it to be in the minutes because it was a, um, a big deal that night. Because mm -hmm. they said that, I forget now what they said. But. All right, so let's leave this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, that we might not be at 11. 11. Yeah, maybe you could look at that and get that back. back. Can you, so can you ask the question? The mm -hmm. Bruce Johnson made a statement that the fire department hadn't given us the capital budget. Well, it says in here that Seth said there was poor communication. As far as I'm concerned, referring to the department not letting select boards know all the costs of doing business. Right. Is that what you're referring to? Everybody, no, everybody no. said there was poor communication. Everybody said there was poor uh, communication. Okay. Um, but Bruce Johnson specifically pointed out, and I can ask Bruce what he said um, if, if we don't have it. Is that an accurate statement of what? I said we we know what to give you, what not to give yeah, you. Pretty yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. I.e., we're not going to be as transparent as you would like us to be. No, what he was saying. Is that this, what you meant? I, this is why I redrafted it. Um, he wasn't saying he wasn't trying to be transparent. He um, was trying to say, and you know that this is how you you know you've been through this before with other whatever um, man, management. He was he was. They think that they're doing you a favor by we're not going to put this out there because then you're just going to give us a hard time and you're not going to want it this way and you're not going to want to do it and so blah blah. That was basically what he's saying is they've learned from experience. Not to tell us everything. What to put in front of us and what we're, what's going to fly and what's not going to fly. It's basically what he was saying. Oh okay. And so I said okay. So sure. now you own that when you when you make that decision. You've made the decision all by yourself mm -hmm. without bringing it forward for the board to discuss so that, so that we can own the decision. Mm -hmm. You owned the decision all by yourself. Because when we, when we said we would take money out of the reserve fund, mm -hmm. 
just so that the budget right. didn't go up so much. They had they already had plans for that money. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I, I agree with that. Yeah, so boy, had... it must have really hit the fan when you said that. Yeah, well, we all kind of said that. It wasn't a good mm. move to make. Seth backed it up. Yeah. Um, anyways, all right, so let's leave these till next time till we can yeah. I mean, that I, language. Yeah, I don't have any... Because that really, I don't have any direct quotes from. I mean, that goes along with the same thing. What we we're just talking about that they made uh, the decision not to give us some information. Without what, <coughs> what they don't realize they're doing is they're owning. Their but they're not owning it. And they're then, still, they they're, then they're mad about it. Right. They're still putting it back on us, even though. Because but anyways, if we want to get all this stuff done tonight. Yeah. So I like on. your idea. Of just ask Bruce. Well, thanks for that briefing. Yes. Yeah. All right, next is the 15th. This is one of the road meetings. Right. Wow. Is this one in Moldville? Is this, is yeah. this on right, Rose? I added Brian Pelchuk, Vermont AOT, yeah. Middlesex Garage. And yeah. with years of previous experience on East Montpelier Road Department, pointed out. Wow. Yeah. Okay. You're still on the like EMFD. Um, oh, yeah, change his name, Brian. I liked Brian. I liked Brian. <laughs> I liked Brian Pelchuk. Okay, is everybody good with those? <clears throat> All right. Next is the twenty second. Yep. And it still says brain on. <laughs> yes. Two. Yeah, she's gonna yeah. get some. Although mom probably likes brain. Um. And they don't report directly to FEMA. They go. They report to CVRPC, who then reports to FEMA. Okay. Just for clarification for mm -hmm. future people. Next. Katie, can you open yeah. it with the format that we see when we open it? Where? How come we're not getting that header? Where? There, wait a minute. There it is. Oh yeah. Denise, that's what that's what that's what you need. Is that? I tried that and it didn't work. Suggesting. I tried that and it, it didn't work. work? No. Do I have that header? Right there. No. I can see you lurking about John. It'll say your name. So you could go and ahead and type something. Suggesting. And we'll see you. And that's seeing oh, those really? word strikes and highlights. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah, I tried that. that. <laughs> it didn't work. Oh it's just, just in this moment, because I think it's one of the same. Okay, so, so let's go. Uh, oh, is that why? It just says jumping, like you might take. Okay, let's keep moving. Okay. Um, okay, that looks good. Um, Everybody good with those? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 29. Tax payers, two words? I don't think it is. I see it. I see it showing up there. You can change it, John. I don't know how to. I'm afraid I'll blow something up. Yeah, don't muck around. I'm not around. touching anything. Don't muck around, bud. I'm not touching anything. Maybe I'll change this one. <coughs> oh, I see it. So works. you saw my change there? Yeah. You change it to concern. For a minute, I thought you wanted to upset Bold and... No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> to be re asked yep. the select word. Yep. Thank you. I wasn't and sure what to do here, actually, with the word determining. Um, where was I? Oh. Oh. The group oh, that design that design professionals we were involved in determining yeah. the plan that was submitted. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll try that other feature again, but I tried it today or yesterday or something and it wouldn't work. Mm -hmm. 13th. This might be the last one. Yay. Should be the last one. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's just thinking of that one. Yep.
I'm not sure I got that right, but yeah. I was just saying it said bag mulch would mean using crushed up newspaper, mm -hmm. and I just changed it to he proposed using crushed up newspaper as mulch. That's really what we're talking about, right? Yeah, that's kind well, of a shredded newspaper. It's Whatever. not, I mean, it's a product, it's a processed product. Processed it's not like maybe. he would just right. shred newspaper and use that. Yeah. I think that it, uh, I would call it a specially a, made product. So it's a mulch product it's a mulch. derived from newspaper. Yeah. Are you telling me there, John? I see your cursor. I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm just, I'll let Sharon do it. Okay. But it's not really junk, I think. Yeah. This is how do 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 things happen. Sharon's going to be like, no, I remember last year changing that. No, you didn't, John. I didn't share. Well, John, you got such good grammar. Thank you. That particular day, I added something. Yes. <laughs> I was rocking it that day. Somebody like to move to approve the slate of minutes? So moved. Except for the EMFD one. Yes. Mm -hmm. Except for the April 11th one. Yes. Except for April 11th. Mm -hmm. um, is there a second? Second? Second. Okay. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 I am going to abstain from the April 15th one because that was the meeting I missed. <coughs> Still approved. I know. If it's easier, it doesn't really matter, I suppose. But it's the grammatically correct. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and then, so we're going to work on, you're going to... So we need to vote. All oh. those in favor, please say aye. 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 So you're going to connect with Bruce on the mm -hmm. question. On the other yeah, thing. and Katie's got it on my to-do list. Mm -hmm. Now you can make your motion. I'd like to ask... To a motion that we go into executive session for about 10 minutes to discuss real estate, real estate matters that were previously discussed. Um, and you can get that statute, Katie, from mm -hmm. 935. For <coughs> the minutes? Mm -hmm. I think I know what you want to talk about. Yep. Yeah.